Oh, good morning, folks. How are you all doing? I will be with you momentarily. Please allow me to uh, post up my tweeties and my posties because I'm doing that all at the moment. Yes. Gotta make sure I do the proper stuff because I have been given a copy of this game from Zaz Developers. So if I just load up to the full screen gaming soon, just add in there. Make sure that's all posted in here as well. Hi. How you doing? Good morning, folks. There you go. Gonna make sure that is good. Been looking forward to play this little game. This little game is a lot of fun. I'm not sure how many of you actually, um, I'm not sure how many of you got to watch during the Steam Next Fest when we played a whole bunch of demos. This was one of them. This was great. This was fun. This was a wonderful little game. There we go. That's all posted up. That's all good to go. That should be fine and ready to play, which I am looking forward to it. Booyah, 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 booyah. Shabooyah, booyah. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right. We got ourselves a game. The game is here. The game is ready to play. But let me see how we all doing. Good morning. We've got Royal Meadow, Smithpaw, Destructiox, Slither Baron coming on in. Dennis on the internet. Chesy B, Professor Monkeys and Baby Monkeys as well. Uh, Brian is like sleep, but he says no. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. I know that feeling. Uh, Mega Mario here as well. We got Windstorm Dota. Say best EU streamer so far. Thank you. Thank you, Windstorm Dota. That is high praise. And who else do we have? We've got Chavin Nope coming through too. And my Shad Moogle. Hello. Ginger Mouse Dan. Sexy Samus. Hi, Sexy Samus. Lonesome Walker. How are you doing? Ori is here as well. Ready to fly. Moon is coming in with the Argic boss and the cursed image at 14 months. Uh oh. Yep. Can I want to make a sandwich? Moogle, you can make a sandwich, but it must be a normal sandwich and not an SSC sandwich. Yeah, that, that's it. I said it. I said it. It must be a normal sandwich and not an SSC sandwich. Anywho, without further ado, we have got ourselves ready. The music drops, and you can hear some lightning effects in the screen as our little glyph there is lighting up. So, without further ado, let us do the thing. You hate how SSC sandwiches become a thing? I mean, I saw it this morning, and I just went, nope. I just went, nope, that's fine. Yeah, that is true. That is true. I, like, hopefully you'll be able to get some sleep eventually, Brian. Like, that's no fun. I will admit, um, I may have uh, stayed up a little bit late last night because once I'd finished doing the shuffler, I jumped into my FC, into the FC Discord, and then we were up until about 1.30 in the morning talking about the weirdest stuff. The weirdest stuff. And I'm just going to leave it at that because, it, yeah, you'll find out later, maybe. Anyway, let's start our new game. We are ready to go. Let us become the little glyph and go our way through. Now, we will also have story. Story, story, story. Platform story. Yeah. I'm a, I'm, I am the little beetle with my with my diamonds. Whee. <laughs> Roll. Dunk the diamond, become super glyph. I was right. Dunk the diamond, become super glyph. And then here comes me, Beetle Ball. Yeah, we are. We're Beetle Ball. Scattered Beetle Ball. Ooh. Nice one, Moogle. Hopefully it doesn't crash on you this time. <gasps> you have summoned another one. So that's where we come from. We come from pylons, apparently. Hello. Let me go and run. Rise and shine. My name is Anubi. I am the one who woke you up. Now that you're awake, you must find the lost temple of Aru. Try rolling around and get used to your U body. So I could, but I could just roll around using this. Roll. Yes, I am Anobi, son of Kenobi. There you go. Look at that. Oh, we're in the tutorial. There's one key and there are four coins. Hello. Roll around. Just wave to us. Yeah. Try looking around using the camera rotation. Ta da. 16 months. I know, right? Thank you, Jazzy Bay, for the 16 month of continued support. Yeah, you are basically a morph ball, and it's great. Um, think of, like, Cooler World and Monkey Ball, and, like, there's a whole bunch of games that this could be like. And just wait until you actually start unlocking all your different abilities that you get. Like, when you get the ability to fly and bounce and roll and run, you're going to have a lot of fun with this. You're going to have a lot of fun with this. Watch out for deadly surfaces. Sand and deadly surfaces. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch with sand. And apparently you're not allowed to touch the glowy one either. Mm. 
Coins are used for unlocking hub portals leading to new sites. Collect all the coins on this bridge here and I will fix the missing part. Ah, so coins are actually going to be useful too, eh? Interesting. And then you fix the missing part. Or you could just, like, let me jump, you know? That would help. Use your momentum to gain speed. Master your momentum and you will be able to go anywhere. That's actually legitimate. Like, if you master your momentum here, you can just fly around and it's great. If you progress anytime, you can use the button to see if you missed anything. Because you got a coin, you got a key. You just gotta go for it. Whee! <laughs> bouncy ball game, 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ruri. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, bouncy ball game, 10 out of 10. Bouncy ball fly game. Mm hmm, mm hmm. All these long sometimes make you sad it took you so long to discover arc. Nah, don't be sad. Don't be sad it took you so long. Be happy that you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This area will test your balance. You will keep me company as I go. The thing is, keeping your balance here isn't actually that bad there, which is nice. Because like, you would think you're like, oh no, you're in trouble. But nah, you're actually okay. <laughs> Look at me rolling around. Oh, we go. Only on seven months. See, only, never say you're only at seven months. That is seven months of awesome support, all right? Never feel like that you are lesser than anyone else. Like, I appreciate your support completely. So never never feel worried that it's like, oh, I only did it for X amount of months. No, you're totally good. Are the yellow platforms bad? Yes. Glowing platforms and sand equal bad. If you touch them, you explode. You explode. Looking a bit like ice physics, a little bit slippery. It's not terribly slippery. It's not terribly slippery, which is nice. Ah, now we'll get to learn to jump. Um, or at least if it does appear to be slippery, then uh, I, I, um, I'm I able to control it well. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Nah, you, you definitely didn't miss that. Like, that's where... Oopsies. And that's what happens if you touch sand. Don't touch sand. You explode. Nah, you've definitely not missed out on stuff, Professor Monkeys. Like, there's the all the videos in that as well. Like, the past backgrounds and stuff. Hey, Blakeglyph, thank you for the key. Thank you for the key that allows me to come and play. It's good fun. Whee! And we go in. Whee! Oh, there you go. There's the air that I'm talking about. You just keep the bouncy going. Keep the bouncy ball going and you just love it. Yeah. Keep the bouncy ball going and you go through. <laughs> Ooh, explosions. Don't know if I want to look at them or avoid them. Do both. Do both. You could have just jumped there and you chose death. Yes, I chose death. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Always choose death. Death is fun. <laughs> Gotta go for the most stylish death that you can, you know? Fragile platforms will disappear and reappear after a while. Because this is the other cool thing. You can actually just, like, roll off the platform and then jump again. As Fluffy Squirrel points out there. Um, if you are off the platform and you still have your little glow, that means you have a jump available. You can use it and you can still go. And it's fast. I missed a thing. I gotta go back for it now. But that's fine. Please respawn. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, please respawn. No, that's fine. So that's fine. We'll just do it that way. Oh, come on. The other thing you can do as well that's really cool is anytime you touch an object, you recharge your dash, your jump frames. So like, you can just do really silly things like that. Like just head yourself against the wall and then just launch yourself up. So those are going to be really fun ways that you can do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you can you can keep your you, you keep your first jump forever on this one as well. Yeah, this movement the movement is absolutely amazing in the game. I agree, it's a lot of fun. Like as I said, I played it in the demo, and there was lots of fun stuff available. And now you can actually touch this one because glowy platforms, green glowy platforms are good, because they give you double jumps like this. Then you go, and the best thing about the double jump is it's the same as the normal jump. You keep a hold of it. So you can see that we're effectively gaining loads of jumps now. So the idea is going to be, what do you do? Do you keep it low? Do you keep it fast? Do you keep it high? The idea here is you have pretty much as much control as you want, you know? It's fun. Just wait till I add the boosts to it. Wait, boosts? Yes, we got boosts. Hello. Life used to flourish here, Glyph. Many years ago, something went terribly wrong. It began the Great Cataclysm, which devastated the ancient civilizations. Corruption still seeds deep within the sands. Whatever you do, stay out of the sand. Because if you touch the sand, you blow up. As we have saw, if you touch the sand, you blow up. Ooh. But yeah, no, same idea on this one, Ori. Like, you can effectively get... Ah, I begin. 
Okay, now we get now we get the uh, the circles. Circles are fun. Energy rings recharge your jump in midair, so you gain your double jump in midair when you do this. So it's like you gain your normal jump, then you get your double jump, and then you gain your normal jump and your double jump back. You gain your normal jump and your double jump, and you just go. And you just gotta make sure you actually hit it, because it's like as long as you continue to like have your jumps and you have your momentum, you're good to go. You know, it's like just up and then, up and then, up and then, just nailed it, nailed it. But you can effectively have unlimited jumps when you get the rings and that in here. This is where the game's going to tell you about the whole, you can get up here and do things. But what it doesn't tell you is that you can recharge yourself by doing this. And then in theory, do this. <laughs> Launch! Whee! I do want to yeet myself up in the air. What are you giving me now? Yeah, there's my glide ability. So now we do this. We can glide like the little scarab beetle that we are. I want to launch myself in the air. Want to activate this just so I actually activate because I think it's wanting me to go over there. No, it wants me to go over there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we. Go. Who needs glide? Who needs glide? Not me. <laughs> Who needs glide? Not at all. One just launches yourself up there, like. Oh, da, 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 da. Glide power ups? What are those? You can climb walls by continuously jumping up against them. And you can launch yourself because of it. Da, 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 da. Love it. Of course, the bigger the wall, the more launching you can do, so. And then just log it. I'm just gonna land over there. Really, game? Let me in the hole. Thank you. I like, really gave me in the hole. Let me in the portal. But yeah. We are slowly but surely getting the rest of our abilities, which is nice. Use your abilities to navigate over the world. Hurrah! What are we getting now? We are getting the ability to smash. So now we can smash into the air by doing this. So the idea is you can use it to jump higher on certain things. So it's like you can do that. And then fly. Look at this. And then the best thing is, we can do it on these, and these are super bouncy. So it's like, you get that, you can fly, and then you can still double jump. Look, you don't even have to use the double jump. And now we get our speedy boosts. Ready, 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 ready. Speed. Ow. <laughs> Speed. Doom. Thanks, game. And then up. I love that. Hi. <laughs> it's like, yo, I'm gonna launch you off the wrong way. It's like, goodbye. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I'm landing on it again. Yeah, that's fine. The lighting of the glyphs is pretty cool. It's a nice touch. Yeah, we, w we went yeet bang there because uh, I went a little bit too fast. But that's part of the fun. There you go. Yep. Splat. You gotta be careful with the control on it too. You can't just like let yourself eat. I mean, you can. Like this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Is that not glorious? Is that not glorious? What do you mean keep trying achievement? I deliberately flew away there, game. Game trying to tell me off for dying all the time. Whatever. I deliberately done that. You leave me alone. Splat. Hashtag worth. There you go. Wait, there you go. I found a power gem. Go ahead and take it. You'll need power gems to unlock and restore areas of the Temple of Aru. The Temple of Aru. Well, as I said, um, I've not. Uh, if you have a look at their Discord server. Um, and you can have a look at some of the videos in that online of the speedruns out here. There are some ridiculous things that you can do. In the final days, countless relics were hidden in the shattered remnants of, or shattered remains of our once great domain. Sacred coins, power gems, and ancient artifacts must be returned to the temple city of Aru. You must return the lost relics, Lyft. I will guide you as far as I can. Oh. Mm. Yeah, we did. We did, Brian. We finished the, the shuffler completely. We, fight, we managed to use bomb strats and uh, managed to finish the game. 
Yes, the Temple of Oh. Oh, now we've got orange walls. So green is good, red is bad. Or green is good, orange is bad. Hi. To reach higher, first smash, then as soon as you touch the ground, do a double jump and immediately after, a glide. The faster you do it, the higher you will go. Whee! Because what you do is you're transferring your momentum upwards. Pretty cool, right? Like, the game is very much momentum based and I love it. Whereas here, you don't want to do that because what you want to do is you want to be like, I can take away and do that. The builders once created a powerful machine to protect themselves and bring safety to the civilization. Something went terribly wrong and the machine became corrupted. Hmm, where have we heard this before? The machine corrupted everything in its path. What should have been their greatest achievement became their greatest downfall. Yeah, you get a little circle below you to tell you where you're actually standing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Skilled Scarab Achievement Unlocked. This is on Steam and on Switch. It dropped on Steam. I think it dropped on Steam at the weekend there. Um, it, it was It's literally just a couple of days old on Steam. Um, has been out on Switch for a while, I believe. But you can get them on both. Hello there. I have a gem for you. Do you wish to have? What's my button to unlock you here? It says E, but I don't have an E button. There you go. It's circle. Over a day old on Steam. Ah, so it came out yesterday. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Turns out E is circle on my controller. And this is all new. I've not done any of this because this is my temple hub world. Whee! Feed. The temple entrance. 30 coins, 7 gems, and 3 artifacts. The heart of creation. Gluff! You have been awoken to cleanse the corrupted heart of creation. This temple city of Aru is buried here in the sands. You must travel to the ruins of the ancient civilizations and collect the lost power gems. Only then will you be able to store, restore the city and do the thing. Use portal, use coin to unlock portals. Space-time portals require artifacts. These can be obtained after collecting all the coins in an area. Oh, I have a lot of coins, you know. I can unlock it. Sunlit dunes. Ah, cool. Here we go. Bye. Bye. Mm. All right, so what do we got? We've got power to launch ourselves with a key and a whole bunch of stuff. Six coins, one gem, three keys, and fun. I don't have a referral link for purchasing it, no, but you can go to Steam right now and grab it. Um, generally, most indie games do not... Uh, do not do referral links or anything like that. But if you do want to do it... Oh, hold on. I did not expect to see you. I have something to tell you. I sense something odd in the air behind the portal. Can you check it out? Sure. I think this area hides something. Hopefully you can find out what. Yeah, I can go do that. I can do that. I'm good. Uh, but yeah, they don't have any referral links. But the developers are here. The developers are here if you want to give them the thanks. And you can also let them know if you purchased it uh, because you saw me playing it or something. Like, it's always nice. But if you are that way inclined, you can uh, contact the devs and let them know. Be like, I found X person playing it and I bought their game. It was cool. Oh, look, a button. A button. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what's this? It's an orb that I managed to miss. So I'm now going to have to go and roll over and try and get it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I get you on that one. I get you. I mean, the best thing to do that is just to let them know. Um, let them know either via email or let them know through um, social media or something that you found it. Oh, I did it again. That's fine. Just let them know that you bought it, you found it, it was really cool, and you found it because of X person. I want that. Oh, I can't get it. Ah! Yep, you can contact them through the Discord. Or, as I said, you can contact them right here, because they are they are right here right now. There we go, I got it. Avatar capsule found. What is an avatar capsule? I do not know. Oh, you're about to tell me. What is it? Whoop. You found an avatar capsule. That's great. I'm still fig not done figuring out what the purpose of this place was. Indication it might have been used as a trial for the young. I will stick around and continue my studies. Good for you. Now we've got this one. 
Um, it might be more of this, Brian. It might be more of this. We will see how long this game is and if we finish it off or not. Because I was really looking forward to this one too. Keys and avatars are lost when you are destroyed. So don't get destroyed. Don't get destroyed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, there you go. There, there you, there you go, Professor Monkeys. They already know. They already know. But yeah, no, definitely. Like, just in general, if you ever purchase a game and there's not a referral link or anything, the best thing you can do is just like at their social media or email them and be like, "Hey, I saw this. It was cool. Like, I saw this from X person. I thought it was cool." And it just lets them know that. The, uh, the streamers that they're supporting, the creators that they're supporting are really good for doing things for you, you know? But yeah, no, I, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate the uh, the thought that is, hey, we want to make sure we can support ARG while supporting the devs too. First time, nailed it. First time, nailed it. Woo! Woo! Nice. First time, nailed it. Got my stuff. I'm good. I unlocked a cold touch trail. Ooh. So that was a time trial level. I didn't actually know we had time trial levels in this one, but there you go. You get a time trial level. It says difficulty too. Tells you everything you need to do to go through. It's unlocked. 10 coins required times base. 12 coins in here. Two diamonds. Gliffy. Yeah, it's Gliff. Hi, Amber. But yeah, if you want to get it, it is available, as I said, on Steam and Nintendo Switch. And there's a lot of fun and we're running away through. Majin Moogle underscore gifted a tier one sub to play Glyph. Thanks for the sub, Moogle. Time for the sub. Gliffy. Yeah, that's because I, I... Gliffy. Yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Just, uh, I may have tweeted it wrong, but it's still accurate. <laughs> He's a cute little scarabino. You leave me alone. Oh, go. There's a thing here. So what's going to be... Oops. What's going to be interesting is trying to route the speedrun of this. That, that may actually be quite fun, trying to see which ones we need, like, coin-wise and whatnot. The best thing is, if you ever die, like, I could just skip half the level now, because I don't need it. So it's like, coin routing is going to be a real thing on this. Hmm. That is true, you're still having home internet issues, which suck. Ah! Oh, that went well. That went really well. Let's try that again, shall we? Here. Do you think you're stopping me again? I say no. Ooh. There you go. So again, right now this is just basic easy levels and whatnot. Um, but we know this. I'm gonna sneeze. I can feel a snooze coming off. Told you. Ugh. There we go. I almost lost it because I snoozed. I almost snoozed. Too much sand. Thank you for the blessings. Too much sand, I'm sneezing. Oh, wait, there was an avatar in here? Oh, I gotta find an avatar scent. Okay, retry. Retry. Retry, retry, retry. There's an avatar thing in here. Let me see if it'll tell me on this. See keys. They're multiplying. Looking for where my avatar orb could be. Well, there's a beetle over there. There's a beetle over there. So let's go speak to the beetle. Oop. Hi there. How you doing? You were just analyzing those mannings. Didn't see you coming. I'm sensing something about these pillars. Something is not right. One of them is the key to revealing something in this place. Yeah, I hope you can figure out which it is. I also see something at the back there as well. I'm going to land on the ground and go splush. I didn't land on the ground and go splush. Feels good. Yeah, look at all those mannings. Hey, look there. It's there. Found it. And slam. Secret has been revealed. To reveal more pillars for the looks of things. Oh, wow, that's actually really far in the distance there. Doing. Oh, nope. I was going to say, I'm in the sand there. I didn't have enough. Did not have enough. Oh. That's still active? Yeah, that's cool. At least they're still active when they do that. Oh, there we go there. I'm going to just have to go from one to the other. Oh, there we go. No. Game, stop it. Thank you. 
Of course, the other problem you have there, as you can see with me playing this, is that if you do do the bounce, you uh, oh, don't get enough height from it because reasons. Excuse me, I need to, I need to grab a bit of tissue for my nose. Oh, stop moving. Mm. Is there a bar for flight? Nah. Ah! <laughs> I'm fighting it. I'm fighting it. Game said, draw a line in the sand and you shall go no further. Watch me. Whoopsies. Actually, I just realized. I wonder. Nah. Nah. I was hoping I'd get a little bit further than that, but I didn't. Roll on this one, roll on this one. Oh, da 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 I'm just going to bounce all the way to the end of the level now. Watch this, watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> I lied. Do I have to go back and get that now? Yeah, I do. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> I hit the wrong button. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit the bouncy button. <laughs> and I hit the wrong one. I meant to hit the jump button, not the uh, not that one. So I went splat. I'm going to splat again. It's fine. Whoa. Did the stream with our Discord followers, and it's exciting to see our great tanks. I'm glad, I'm glad. I, I hope some folks from your Discord come in, they have fun, they check it out, you know. Oh, there we go, that's a boons and a half. Oof. There you go, give me back my avatar capsule. And we just go from here. Stop, 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 stop. They just stop, stop, stop. Whee! Mm, no. Like, what's the way to say? I don't trust. There we go. Look, we got everything. Feels good. I do love the fact that you have the big circle telling you, like, where you're going to land. It's good. Avatar capsule unlocked. Oh, look, you can be roach now. You can be roach. Oh. So we've got one more level in this first hub world, and then we can go our way through. The best thing is, every time we do this, we're gaining enough coins back that we're actually still gaining coins, rather than not. Hey, Murby. I'm good. Having a nice week? It is the... I, it, it is Casual Tuesday, so I say yes. I, I always enjoy my Casual Tuesdays. They're good fun. Whee! Oh, no. Whoopsies. Hmm. Ah, there sounds like there may be a bug somewhere. Maybe even a scarab beetle. Oh, no. There we go. That's what you wanted to do. You wanted to grab that. Grab a few of these when we go through. Oh, there's a diamond. Mine. Oh, there's a scarab thing up there, too. That's not active yet, though. Oh, I can only get them once I have all the coins. Why'd I do that? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why'd I do that? That was silly. That's fine, game. Right, over we go. So you can see as well, like, how the levels and that are going to change around every now and again. Plenty of bugs and glib, but only the robot ones you put in ourselves. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
was going to say, I just went a little bit too far there, but we're all right. This is where it turns into, like, precision platformer for a little bit. Oh, nice angle. All the way over to get your avatar. And then, you think that's bad? You gotta go all the way back. See how far back we can get. Oh, I can make out of that one. That's fine. And then do here. The soundtrack is very chill. And I, I feel like that's really important for games like this. Because, like, there will be times where it'll get a little bit frustrating when you're playing. And having a chill soundtrack really helps. Whoa. Hopefully life isn't bugging you at the moment. Hey, I see what you did there. Scrappy. Scrappy the bug, huh? And there we go. So we have now finished our hub world here. So the game's going to be like... <gasps> No, I've missed the one in the entrance, have I? Did I not pick up a scarab beetle in one of my levels? Or am I... Did I miss my... I didn't pick up my scarab thing. No! I forgot to pick up my scarab thing. Do I have to redo the coins now? I think I do. That's fine. I forgot to go pick up my scarab. No. There it is. Okay, here's the thing I really enjoy. And Plague Glyph, I give you massive kudos for this. We've already collected every single coin in the stage. We do not have to collect it again. That is legitimately one of the greatest things ever. I don't have to worry about collecting it again. We've done it. You only have to go get the keys. Like, that is such a neat feature. It means that you're not punished for accidentally forgetting to go collect something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Where's the issue in Arg's audio coming from? Issue? What issue? I don't have an issue. Oh. Hi, Ruman. Ooh. And there you go, done. Mm. Nope, it is not banjo kazooing me. It's not punishing me for having to do it. Which is nice. Very nice. And I'm very happy about it. It's such a good little thing, you know? It's like, it's not punishing you. Sometimes it sounds as if my audio is distorted, as if the aux cable is not fully plugged in. I can 100% guarantee... Oh, um, Rumin, are you using FFZ by any chance? If you're using Frankerface Z, it might be the automatic speed up. You might have a delay happening. Aka, refresh the stream and see what happens. Refresh the stream and see what happens. So what's this? Path of growth. Three portals. Difficulty three. Let's go, we'll go to the path of growth. Whoop! Oy. It might be the automatic speed up from FFZ that's doing it. Oh, uh, new area unlocked. With three new portals to go for. Whee! Hi there. This is the path of growth. A place of growth and learning for the young. Elders would regularly come here to train the young and teach them important lessons. Like, don't touch the sand. They held ceremonies where the young were once celebrated when training was completed. I wonder what kind of lessons and training they went through. We're about to find out, because we're going to go and do some of them. Our difficulty is now going up. Oh, no, it's down to one. That's fine. Down to one we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Glad everyone's doing Gahoot. A banjo. Oh, wow, that is a wavy road. That is a wavy road and a half. Mm. Why does the sand kill you? Because sand is evil. Sand has been corrupted by evil, corrupted, evil machines. Great to see you, Glyph. How are you doing? These roads are spectacular. I wonder why they are curved like this. Data indicates this place is almost as old as time. It's very interesting. Then I picked up an unusual signal here. See if we can check out the perimeter of the roads up there on the other end. Something special has been hidden out of sight. I will continue my analysis in the meantime. Mm. Turns out clouds are bad too. Mm. Do, 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 do. Woo! Sand is coarse and rough and gets everywhere. Of course it does. Oh, I'm alive. I shouldn't be, but I am. There'll be something up and hidden outside. Yeah, there, it's right there. Oh, please hit that. There you go. I gotta be careful with the slam, actually. Some of the slams I don't need to do. Slam, oh, Mikey. 
Yeah, there's not enough. Woohoo! Secret revealed, but I don't know what it revealed. I think it revealed something up the top there. Yeah, it did. The question is, how do I get there? It did. It revealed a secret. But which secret did it reveal? Ooh. Oh, fudge. It did it again. Never mind. I did it again. It was I did what? Missed my jump. There we go. I will never tell. Secrets are secrets. Indeed. Gotcha. Find your secret. Yeah, it's a very hypnotic soundtrack, isn't it? Just like... Whoa. I almost feel like this could be what would be playing in, like, a, a sci-fi spaceship. You know, when you're, like, exploring. Alright, I'm a gem missing. Hmm... Why is the Avatar in a capsule and need to get them out in the world? Well, see, the problem about that is because when the world needed the most Merbe, they vanished. So now it's up to Glyph to try and find the Avatar and get them back. Don't hit that, please. Thanks. Okay. Oh. Okay, turned out I can't land on that. <laughs> turns out I can't land on that. Oops. Well, there's my diamond and there's my coin, so I found the stuff I'm looking for anyway. It's like, that that's the part that you're not supposed to touch. It's like, oh, oh. Yeah, everybody tries that once, but only once. Because then we've learned, don't touch it again. Avatar, the last glyph bender, indeed. I can also confirm I assumed I could touch it. <laughs> yeah. Today we all learned. Today we all learned. You can't touch that rock. It looks like you can touch the rock, but you cannot touch the rock. There we go, and then from here we just like leg it down. Nice. I'm not wanting to do that one, so I'm just going to go this way. Like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not gonna take the other idea. Oh yeah, I need to get my scarab. I keep forgetting I need my scarab. There we go, scarab obtained. We're gonna leave the level. Oh yeah. Woo. Woo. Scarab obtained. World complete. New best time. Gliding at low speeds can be used to change direction quickly. Yeah, but gliding at high speeds is more fun. Is that a Baku god? Wow, that's a reference and a half. This is Glyph. He is a scarab. He is a robotic scarab that flies through the world and does cool things. You can even change him into something new. For example, if we go into the start menu here, we can go into cosmetics. And we can turn our... We can go into cosmetics. And we can change ourselves into cool stuff. Like... We can be... The Jade Glyph. Ah, oh. How do I activate them? It not let me click some of them. This is weird. Wow, there's a lot. Oh, look! I'm like a robot glove now. Look at that! Oh, it changes my ball. It changes my ball. My ball color has changed. Scout. Okay, let's go back up in here. There you go. That's Roach. This is Scrappy. It's because it was unlocked there. That's what the problem was. So This is Scrappy. Oh, look at that! Oh, little scrub is like a task. It, it's, it's like a crash test one. Yep, it's it's a morph ball with a various. Hit. Look at that. Ooh, little scrappy. Oh, that's actually really cool. I like that. That's cool. Okay, what else we got? Let me see what else we got. We got scout. This guy's like sci-fi scouty one. Oh, look, look, look! You're a drone. Mm. Look, you're one of those drones that you can get. That's really cool, actually. And then you can tell, like, I like how the orange parts go off and that, like, it's really cool how you've managed to design skins that still keep the, um, like, the original parts in mind. Like, you can tell the double lighting is. 
That's really cool. And since Gle and since Glyph likes Scrappy, we'll start with Scrappy. Let's go, Scrappy. Whee! Scrappy and I are going on an adventure now. Do, 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 do. But yeah, like, I can see it being an idea here where when it comes to routing the speedrun, we find out how many coins we need. And once we find out how many coins we need, we move our way around and find better coins and faster coin routes and things like that. Ooh, music. Music is kicking in. Do 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 did I unlock any trials yet? You mean on this? I mean, I've done one time trial. Oh no. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I haven't unlocked that yet now. Oh, you got revealed. Easy. There you go. Nice to see you. Not much, but the bare bones of this ancient site remains. I'm curious about the structures here. They seem unusual for the region. Oh, wow. see that tile slab behind me? There's a device on it. I'm not sure where it does, but there must be something to it. Check it out while I can you scan the area. Oh. Hey, Mega Man Dragonite, how you doing? Whee! Up and in and round it down. Up to the top, it's where we go. Boing, boing. Big fly. Literally big fly. Oh, so much of a big fly. Too much of a big fly. That's fine. Too much of a big fly there. I was surprised that you raided. It was good fun and I appreciate it. It was good fun and I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, nine tiny Tim, how you doing? Ah, there they are over there. I see. That's where I need to go. I can skip that entire puzzle, maybe. By doing this. Do, do, do. That is exactly right, buddy. There you go. Just I'm just gonna skip that entire puzzle. Thank you very much. Ta-da! I don't touch it. It bad. Wee! Hey, good enough. I finished. Finished. Spray on your alt. Nice. Your progression is good. Morning, Molly. Good morning, folks. Right, so I got everything I'm looking for here other than my little scarabot. Do you think you'd see Ark playing Odyssey? Yahoo! There you go, everything there done. Nice level complete. I'm doing good at finding this. I'm doing good at finding my stuff. Yeah. You forgot this landed slab. There was this landed slab there. However. Proof to show that you always don't need all the slanted slabs as well. <gasps> Trial time, 14 seconds. Okay, Ark. Can you do it? 14 times. <laughs> Ludeba. Oh, you made it. Yes. <laughs> we are good. Mmm. Real the map from Forza Horizon 5, and it is huge. Glyph get the Mario, but you might be biased. Only slightly. Fudge. I can survive, it's cool. I'm not getting gold this time though. But I did recover. Are you kidding me, game? Good job! <laughs> Glad you got the rando work in there, Murphy. There you go. There you go. Don't hold forward on that one. Don't hold forward on that one. Otherwise, you're going to go flying off the wrong wave. But we did it. 12 seconds. Nebula trail. Ooh. Oh, that's what it means by trails. Okay, I have unlocked a few trails. And I'm going to add one now because I want that purple nebula one. I'm going to add it. Give me my cosmetics. Give me my nebula trail. Nebula. Nebula, which is nebula purple. Totally biased. Nebula. Totally not biased. Yo, I'm in the air now. <laughs> What up? I have 71 coins, eight are three artifacts, and eight funky dories. Ooh. 
Coming back from picking up dinner earlier, there was lightning, the most beautifully clean bolt. See, if you manage to get that on picture, I want to see it. Because, like, getting a cool lightning bolt is, is always awesome. We don't get much lightning up here. We get a little bit of thunder, but not lightning. You're buying this. Curia Nova, it is available on Steam and Switch, and it's totally worth it. Like, it's a lot of fun, this is. Like, it's a nice little platformer. It's not too difficult at the moment. Obviously, we're still early in the game. It's not punishing at all. Like, everything, they, the only thing that resets when you die are the keys. And, yeah, it's it's really good. It is really good. So, like, enjoy and have fun. Have fun and enjoy and play game. Ah, what? Things happened. It's fine. I didn't realize that platform moved. Turns out that platform moved. Look at my nebula. Look, look, it's cool. I got stars behind me now. Oh, it's one of the movie down platforms. It's that. I see. Okay, that's fine. I see what the problem there was. It was me all along. Secret revealed. But we don't know where it is. More fun, more memes. <laughs> more fun arg noises. Wait for it. Up we go. Does fire hurt, Professor? It probably does. I don't want to figure that out. It's like, is fire hot? Probably. See, this would be one of these levels I would see where I would try and not grab the coins. Like, I would grab as many coins as I needed to go through. But I wouldn't actually, like, you know. I wouldn't deliberately spend the time getting all the coins in this level in a speedrun. But this is not a speedrun. This is a first time playthrough, so this is a must collect everything. Oh, there, it's over the back there. This is a first playthrough, therefore I must collect everything. It's in my nature. So, we going this way then, game. Oh yeah, we are definitely going this way. Oy! Avatar capsule found. Yeet! Go on, land in the end of the level arc. Nail it, nail it, nail that landing, nail that landing. Booyah, booyah, absolute booyah, absolute booyah, that one. I missed my big thing again. God dang it, that's fine. Excuse me while I go back into my stage because Arg made a boo boo and he missed his thing. <laughs> hey, my toy, how you doing? This game is very cool. This game is very cool. I don't know about its speedrun. I don't I don't know about its speedrun because I have not uh, done a speedrun yet, but I can definitely say that the game is fun and I will happily recommend it. I actually got to go and do a couple of reviews tonight on some of the indie games that I've played just to help boost their presence on uh, Steamu. Right, where is it? There, it's over there. Now I got to fly over in the distance. I got to pull the tails. I got to fly high. So I can reach the highest. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Oy, I'm alive. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. Because the thing that I'm noticing here with in terms of speedrun is that you actually do need to collect some of the coins and whatnot to unlock the rest of the levels, you know? We've got we've got lots that need to be that need to be grabbed. Oh, trial time. Trial time! Hey X Bunny Slayer, how you doing? Alright, here we go. It's a big trial time. 14 seconds required to win. Grab the key and go. Oh, that was interesting. Oh, that's a platform that's not existing. He salvaged it, though. But he's not getting a gold. He's not getting a gold there. He got a silver. But he needs to get a gold. Hmm. Well, routing is going to be very interesting. And I actually think I might... I might try and route some of this to see. Honestly. I might try and route this to see. And see what we can do with a speed run. Because it's going to be one of those things where... If we can figure out, maybe maybe, we, maybe we'll do a routing stream of this. We'll we'll see. This could be quite fun to add to a different type of game to add to my repertoire. You know. 
Oh, where to go? Aye, whatever. But it's still technically Sonic Up's Windows. <laughs> Nope, still slow there. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. We have a very active speedrunning community on your Discord. Yee. I'll need to. I'll need to try and jump into the Discord. Do you know what? That's fine by me. We can jump into the Discord, my toy, and see what we can find. Wee. Oh, that would have been it if I'd grabbed it there, but I didn't. Hmm. Guess what? Um, you have reached level 69 on 12A and got yourself stuck there. Yes. Do -do 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 -do. Is it bad you want to be known as we got outside of the internet now? No. Ah, poops. This is going to be quite hard to get 14, actually. Hmm. Oh, I missed that again, so I just gotta go splat. It's very tight. He's tight like Twiga. Oh, that didn't hit the thing. Yep. Oh. Error 404, subs not found. What? Error 404, subs not What do you mean, error 404, subs not found? Ow. Oh, I didn't do what I wanted it to do. I have 404 subs. Oh, well. Oh, I have 404 subs. I thought you meant there was an actual legitimate error there. God dang it. God dang it. Thanks. The number of subs that I have. We have 404 subs. And it's like, oh... You, you got me thoroughly confused right there. Fudge. As I was going to say, what are you talking about? But then you thoroughly confused me. So well played. Well, that's a lie now. You, you just made it to, to made it to 405. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, hey Felix, how you doing? That was close. That was close, but no, we were 2.09. Hmm. So you just gotta... This is fine. Tap that. Oh, I didn't have it. In the hole. In the hole. Do, 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 do. You do it just to hide me. Cover me in the emote spam again. And the full screen one, that is exactly what happens. Oh, A stripes. Oh, I did that wrong. I didn't realize I saw a double jump. Oh, game is now yours. Enjoy it, Korean Nova. Have some fun playing it. Because honestly, it's a lot of fun. And you can see here, I'm already finding a challenge. This is one of these challenges, by the way, that I wouldn't do um, in the speed run. As in, I wouldn't be deliberately holding myself. Oh, 2.6 more. I wouldn't uh, be deliberately trying to do this. This would be just like one and done. If you got two, it would be great. If I didn't get three, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But for this, me wants it. Me wants it. I needs it. Oh, that would have been it if I grabbed it. That would have been it if I grabbed it. Blah. If I got the right angle there, we would have got it. Oh, I did that wrong. That's fine. That's, I was just, that's just going to waste too much time anyway. But yeah, enjoy the video game. Whee!
I did not have a second jump there. There you go. There you go. God dang it. 0.47 seconds. Really? <laughs> 0.47 seconds. Not even a full second. It's like this one is set to perfection, basically. I get the idea. You're basically taking the racing line through here. But definitely not easy at all. You're right on that one, Fluffy. Oh, fudge. That's fine. Oh, I did have double jump. Oh. Gotta go feast. Gotta go feast. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Get the roll immediately. Start that. And just up and rolling. Up and at them. There you go. Nope. Yes, yes, yes. There you go. 13, 4, 3, 8. There you go. Got it. Got it. Took a couple of minutes, but we got it. That's what under the stage looks like. Yes, more sand. It's rough, it's coarse, and it gets everywhere. Welcome to the House of Joy. Unlock. I needed an arrow pack to unlock that one. Oh. I'm Scrappy the Dragonfly. Oh, wow. Okay, what? Yo, we got spikes. Oh, you're going to boost us right up through that, aren't you? This is going to be interesting. Um, sure. Almost, but not quite. Try this again, shall we? Yo, let me restart. No, my keys. Oh, 10. Slow. Do it again. Faster. Hmm. Fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> Too fast. <laughs> Too fast. There we go. One, two, three, four. There you go. Mm, done. Wee. It's funny how a single character that was first made to handle microtransactions in the mobile version ended up getting more developed. You mean Vertuelli? I feel like that's a twelve thing you're talking about. But that one, difficulty one. We still did it, which is good. What does this one need? This one needs 15 coins. Difficulty three, fallen bridges. Mm. My bridges, they are falling. Oh, wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Here we go. What do we got on this stage then, game? We have got things. They say, let us start by being high up. Because it looks like that's what they're aiming for here with this. There you go. Looks like the Scarab's ready to do, like, battle arena fighting with us. Cliff, it's good to see you. All these bridges, I wonder what they were used for. That button reveals rings. I think it shows more. <gasps> okay. Well, that's what that's for. That's for all your relics. Let's go grab all these and just take our way over here. As long as I don't have to hit that and burn, we're fine. Yeah, you know, you don't have to touch it. Just go. But I bet you could fly from like one part of the world to the other on this. The answer is basically yes.
I mean, paid to win mechanics generally suck. We all know this. Uh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, there's there. So for once, the avatar thing is not hiding in another area. I don't like the fact that I'm on like small platforms right now. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, different lightning effects in that are cool too. Like, there's a lot of neat little things in this game that make it up to look like the pretty package that it is. The music is very nice. The gameplay itself is fun, and that's a super important part of a video game, believe it or not. We have enough unlocks. The game doesn't punish you for failing certain aspects. Like, the game doesn't punish you if you accidentally leave a level after collecting all the coins, but without forgetting to pick up the scarf thing, you know? Once you collect some stuff, the game doesn't automatically reset if you die. You've got really fun moment. Like, here's the thing that sold me on this game initially, by the way, when I played this demo. Momentum. Momentum. If you want to have fun with a game like this, give us momentum. And this game does it in speeds. Momentum. All right, we are three coins missing because I went the wrong way. So, Whee! yes, momentum, momentum, good. Go this way. Hmm. 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 Literally, the falling bridges. The name of the stage is the part I'm missing. The falling bridges! Nailed it. Right, now over to that middle section again. Oh, I could have maybe have got that if I was... Gotta go to space. Oh, I missed. Hold on. Get ready, man! Nailed that. Right, where's the end of the level? I did. I found an avatar. You found more information about this place. Wait, hold on. You've got more information about this place. I want to know about it. Welcome back, Big O. What do you got for us, buddy? What is it? It used to be a popular trade route between three regions. They worked together to construct a highway to make things easier for traders, but it collapsed during the Great Corruptions, and no bridge has survived. But you found that hidden in Avatar Glyph, and we will continue analysis. Cool! And I'm just gonna run to the end. Whee! I'm not gonna slam that, because I'm probably gonna miss if I did. There you go. Oh. All collected. Booyah! Booyah, booyah. And is that the end of this area? Have we got everything in the House of Joy? It does look like it, doesn't it? Hi, right, Glyph, this is the House of Joy, a place where citizens would celebrate and have fun. Citizens would come here to play, celebrate friendships, and put negativity aside. Great parties were held here. Elders would tell funny stories while the young listened. Citizens would dance to the sound of music until sunrise. It was truly a place of joy. Yeah. Well, we've definitely got everything from this area, too. So now, we can move on to our next one. The Path of Serenity. Hmm. And, well, we are going to get ourselves set up for the Path of Serenity. We can see how much more is going to be needed in this area. We're going to need 39 coins, 7 gems, and 2 artifacts, if you want that one. This is where people would come and rest. Elders hosted meditation sessions and gave lessons as the house citizens could find peace within. The elders believed that learning to remain calm and finding peace within would make you strong. 
If only we could meditate and them meditate now. It would have been quite the contrast to the current situation. Mm. Yes, this is my controlled Marvel doors. My powerful Marvel. But before we go into the new area, we've been going for a bit of a, a bit an hour now. So you know what we're going to do? We're all going to stand up. I'm going to stretch our legs and make sure you stay hydrated. We're going to take a quick two-minute break. And then we will be right back continuing more of Glyph. So enjoy good old Sonny Moose here. Absorbing all the rings and some Soliana Castle Town from Sonic 06. All right, we back. We back. Yes, it is. It is a new BRB screen. It was created by one of my friends, uh, Jeffy. The girl called Jeff created it. It is a mixture between Sonic and Atomos from Final Fantasy XIV, because I play, well, from Final Fantasy in general. But that specifically is the Final Fantasy XIV version, and we call it Sonimos because Arg, uh, well, basically, he plays Sonic, and we play fourteen. It's cool. It's a cool screen. All right, time trial level for the collectible trail called the Lurking Menace. Here we go. Speedy time. Gotta go fast. Gotta go speedy fast. Oh, look at this. It's like marbles in a car. Oh, this is like the level of the time. Oh, I was going to say there's going to be a key in here and then a ball that explodes me. Yay! <laughs> I was going to say there's going to be a ball in there that blows me off. I was like, yep, yes, there is. Oh, what do you mean I didn't have a double jump? They are they are pushy and I love it because they can eat you. Yeah, you gotta be careful there because you can only start with one and then 
Push me! Oh, you, you didn't push me. Disappointed! Oh. Disappointed! I need to get that as a meme image because it's funny. Right, there we go, down here. Launch me! That works, but you launched me the wrong way. However, I can recover using the power of technology. Using the power of Scrappy. Don't you dare! And safe. Please don't. Damn it. <laughs> like, please don't! Too late. The trick is actually going to be to get up on top of them when you come out. So it's like, you want to just jump and go. And then land here. And then when it blows you up, give you a nice big boost like that. That, that went well. That went really well. Do it again. Not quite. So this time we're just going to land here. And then go down. And then you're going to see the roll coming. No! 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 Mm, I didn't hit the portal. See if I hit the portal. Ah. 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 Yeah, I, uh, Marbe, I am one of those people, yes. I am one of those people, yes. We almost had that there, but we were yeeted in the wrong direction. Oh, it's going to be too far. Nice yeet. Oh, very nice yeet. Wonderful yeet. Good landing. Good, 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 good. Oh, that's even better. What a push. Okay, hold on. One more push required. Oh, that is perfection, that is. Perfection. Hmm. Hmm. That is a good level. That is a good level right there. That is just... Hmm. Lovely. Lovely. That was very clean. Yes. That was clean. That was CG clean. That was an absolutely clean level. This one requires 15 to unlock. Obscuring sands. 20 coins, 2 diamonds, and a thing. What is a thing? I don't know, but we're about to go find out. Alright, here we go. Up into the air. 20 goings. Oh, this is like circles now. Oh, this is the press them in the right order, isn't it? I wonder how you're meant to find them in the right order, other than, like, trial and error. And that creates a diamond! Hi there, can I ask? This is some weird glyph language. Ah, you only got to do one of the speedrunning things. Mail delivery! Oh. Mail delivery was definitely a thing in that. That one's right, okay. So is this, like, the same direction every time, then? Nope, fudged it. I do like how you immediately know if you hit the right one or not. Because it tells you by fire. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Oh. <laughs> oh. I just got wrecked. The feels when? Right, let's do the big one last. I accidentally slammed there and I shouldn't have. Let's go this way then. Space cliff. Ooh, I hit the edge there on a weird angle. That's fine. So I just want to see, like, these are actually the same every time. It's like, nope, it's not. That's fine. Nope, it's not. It really is trial and error, isn't it? Nope. No, I, I, I literally just tried that, yeah. We had the same idea there, Garden Hermit. Alas, we were wrong. We've been duped by the video game. The sand, it burns. Mr. Sunny, yes, the sand burns. Don't touch the sand. Sand, sand, uh, sand very, very burny, burny. Do you not hear the ominous music? It tells you sand is burning. Owie. That's fine, I lived. Oh, nice. I did it right this time. This level so scares you. Memories of, of slamming through the tiles at the sand below. Oh, that doesn't sound like good. There's a pot over there. I want the pot. What'd the pot do? Oh, the pot's where my, my scarab is. 
We will get the pot. We'll get the pot later. Okay, so we want that one to be done last then. Ooh. Okay, that was the wrong angle. No, no, no. Right, this is where we get it wrong. Let's find out. Don't be wrong, don't be wrong, don't be wrong, don't be wrong, don't be wrong. Yeah, Hada. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. And then the big pyramid. I can definitely touch that. Yeah, I can, okay. The Pyramidian. Ooh. It's a big pyramid. Big pyramid. Ooh. Right, here we go. Land up here. Fly up top. Land up here. Go grab that. Why? Please tell me this pot teleports me back. <laughs> 10 out of 10, will pot again. <laughs> oh, I'm dead now. That's fine. 10 out of 10, will pot again. Pot percent complete. That one was wrong. That one is right. That one was right. It made something move. <gasps> it made another one move. Ooh. Mine. And mine. And there we go. To the end of the stage. That's a pretty cool stage, that is. I like that. That is fun. I like that a lot. Mm. Time trials will put your skills to the ultimate test. As opposed to the medium test. We've got a solid 5 out of 7 right now. The Abyssal Sanctum. Avatar collectible. Ooh. Oh. And up we go. Things are getting a little bit dark over here now. Look at this. Oh, no. Okay, that's fine. It recovered my... Look at this place. Yes, I will. Once I come down and see. Right, what do you got to say? All the way out in the farthest edge of the region. The obelisks here give you a strange vibe. There's something about them. The one up there by the end of the pathway has your senses going wild. Perhaps you should go check it out. I will continue my analysis here. Those flames. I wonder how long they've been burning. Those flames, they're hot. I love how just even the tiniest little area that you can stand on counts for refreshing your jumps and your glides. It's so good. They are good flames. The good flames give me the power of boomf. I like the power of boomf. The power of boomf sends me high into the sky. They are good flames because they are green flames. I like the power of boom. Wow. I do love how you've actually color coded everything, by the way. Like, that's a nice touch. It's like, if it's green, it's good. It ain't gonna kill you. Like this. Why? This fire powers you up. Oh, oh, go on, get it, get it, get it. Aww. Aww. I was hoping. Hey, I did it on the second, I did it on the backswing. There you go. Morning, Flattery, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? We Ah, no! <laughs> I missed it. I knew I was going to miss one eventually, but there you go. I was going to say, that didn't count as giving me that, did it? No, it didn't. My hubris. What hubris? There's no hubris here. Look at this. 
There you go. Look at that. You could just jump from flame to flame on that. In fact, that's probably going to be the speedrun strat through this level. Oh, I... Ah, hold on. No, there's a secret at the end of this level. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. Might not nail it. Coming in for a hot landing. Boom. Shit. <laughs> uh, that landing was a little bit too hot there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, no. I ruined nothing. I ruined nothing. That was funny. Oh, I'm in the sand again. That's fine. <laughs> I ruined nothing. That was perfect. Can't tell me off. That was brilliant. Oh. Oh, I love that. That that went so well. There we go. Yep, all according to King Hacker. Yes, yes, that is exactly right. Right up we go. Bye. Green Hill's looking a lot more like Sand Hill right now. Oh, here we go. Gotta do it again. <laughs> Fudge. Big fudge. Big fudge. Big fudge. Yeah. Okay, safe. No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Nailed it. Right, watch this. Oh, there's my scarab thing. Oh. Then I gotta land over here. Oh, I saved it. Saved it. Nailed it. Yes. I am a good game. Yes. Nailed it. Oh. Saved it. There you go. There you go. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. <laughs> did it. See, I had to go back because I was going to miss my, my collectible at the end there. Yep. 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 Stop almost dying. No. No. And the world is complete. New world, new area. Done. Done. Right. You want to see what one? Oh, so we got to go around the other side now, do we? Whee! Wonder if there's an achievement for dying in the hub world. <laughs> oh, oh, I almost found out. I almost found out. Oh, you want to see the avatar I just got? Okay. We will spawn the other hub world area and then we shall do. Let us have a look at the avatars we've got new. We have new cosmetics. We have got so many new ones. So let us find out. We now have ancient. And we now become an ancient ball. Oh. Eh, we're a Cthulhu thing. Ah, I'm a Cthulhu ball. <laughs> the path of wrath with the... <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Cosmetic. Fire. Now we are a ball of fire. Oh, look at that. It's actually lit up as well. Look, ball of fire. I am a fire scarab. The fire scarab. Hey, Ragsar, how are you doing? This game's a lot of fun. This game is a lot of fun. This is Glyph. It is available on Steam and on Switch. Um, and it looks absolutely adorable. And it is amazing. Yo, look, we got Roger. What up, Roger? I am now Roger. Roger is a skull. This is our friend. We like Roger. Roger is a bat. Ro Roger has a bat inside. So a bat has made Roger their home. Hello, Roger. <laughs> this is Roger. Roger the skull with a bat. Roger's head is rolling right now. This is this is actually pretty great. We like this. We like this a lot. Roger. Okay, what else do we got? Oh, no, I keep going in settings there. Roger might be both. Turtle bot. I am turtle robot. Turtle bot. Oh, I'm a flying turtle. Look, I'm a turtle. I'm a turtle robot. Okay, I like turtle robot. Turtle robot's cool. Little turtle bot. Look at little turtle bot. I, uh, yeah. 
Turtle Bot. Turtle Bot is actually really good. I like Turtle Bot a lot. This, do you know what? This will actually be really good for speedruns. Because we can have donation incentives for what do you want? You like bone firefly. It's like what skin do you want? And we can put the skins on them. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. I am down for that. Alright, let's play for Rod let's play as Roger for a little bit. Yo Roger, what up? This is the Path of Wrath. The war greatest warriors of the domain came here to battle. They would contest in tournaments to celebrate the greatest of warriors. This is also where warriors would discuss strategies and tactics during war times. This was the first part of the temple under attack during the Cataclysm. Without the Council of Warriors, the temple stood no chance. So now, Roger has come back to try and avenge the Temple of Warriors. Go, Roger! Let us go! Roger! Yeah, these these skins are legitimately amazing. I, I quite enjoy these. Right, Roger! It's time! Wow. Hi, Glyph. This used to be sand. Oh, you, you got lucky, Roger. Used to be very busy in the old days. You've been here many times. This time something seems out of order. I sense something odd around the edges of this trade post. I'm not sure what it is, but maybe we can figure it out. Hmm. Hmm. Roger that. Eh. I like the fact that the way you tell is Roger gets very angry when Roger has double jump. When Roger has double jump capabilities, Roger gets very angry. Uh, Roger! Good job, Roger. Oh. Carl will bring me luck. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah, that's a... Uh, that's a mood. That's definitely a mood. Like, as a speedrunner, I'm going to use this skin because it will bring me the best luck. I mean, it's not how it works, but we say those things because then it maybe will happen. Maybe it will happen. See a lot of flying tortoises with the rainbow trail. Rainbow trail's good. Actually, hold on. We have some trails, don't we? We've got Blood Splay, Cold Touch, Dusty, Invisible, Nebula, Nitro, Toxic Fire. I still think Nebula is going to be the best one for me right now. Unless we get a more direct purple one, I'm definitely sticking with nebula for now they are entirely aesthetic yeah there's no there's no difference between uh robo turtle donking the back of its shell and uh roger donking his noggin here you understand this is rng manipulation you're not wrong the changing anobi pictures something Maybe that'll be something that'll go on to that one. No secret triple jump yet. Avatar capsule. And level complete. Now I can escape. Even collecting everything, like all the levels here are fairly short, which is nice. You know, heading back to the Switch version with all the new ideas you had for PC, make sure to tell the devs that they like the Anobi Portraits. Yeah! Yeah! Get them at it too. The Ruined Fortress! The Fortress of the Ruins. Ooh. Oh, Slam Jump Jump is basically a triple jump, pretty much. You know, Slam Jump Jump! Whee! And it'll fly too if you want even more height. Welcome to the Ruined Fortress in the sky. Sky Fortress! Thank you. That's red. That's dead, right? Me no touchy. That's red. Me no touchy. I am learning from game. Touch red, you dead. Mmm. Do, 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 do. Might. The only gem has been obtained. Ooh. Oh, my not making that. Oh, mistakes were made. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was going to say, I think I made a mistake there, but I'm good. Hmm. Hey. That was good. 
They'll be streamlined. You want to make sure the PC version was 100% first. Don't you mean they'll be streamlined? Ah! Hello! Not much remains of this ancient fortress. I wonder what happened. Roger was here. Maybe it was the corruption event. It could also be from war. But you will analyze the place and you will look into it. In the meantime, I've got some readings you can take a look at. The other fortress tower got my sensors acting up, which means there's a portal around it. Let's go figure that out. We will steal that joke. Yeah! <laughs> That's fine. Go for it. Yes, more people coming to the land of puns. More! More! Oh, it's a tiny one. Whee! Nice. And then, and then. Da 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 da! <laughs> Chase me. Nope. Nope. Stop. Abort. Too late. Too late. One of us. One of us. One of us. Oh, I only met. I only got six of nine. What? I mean, nice, but what? I can't even believe I missed three por. I missed three coins. I was too high in the air. I was lured to the portal. I was lured, I tell you. It was shiny. I wanted it. All oh, right, the star too. The, the complete area of the island I missed, Jet. There you go. Let's just go grab them, shall we? Then we're gonna go actually go find where my little thing is. Whee! I mean, dumb puns are always good. I enjoy dumb puns. Oh, dumb puns are the best. I can't help but pun. Okay, so before we can finish now, I'm a looking for an artifact. Where be my artifact? Where be it hide? Ah, oh, there it is! Found it! Normally you don't like- ah! Fudge! Well, when I say, um, they, they, David, the only reason, um, the only reason that I, uh, have it as a sponsor stream here is because the folks over at Playglyph, they, uh, they, they provided me a key for the game. So I feel like it's only right that I tell you that this game, basically, I'm playing this game for free and that the opinions that I have are still my own, even regardless of being given the game for free. Like, if I'm given the game for free and I don't like it, I'll still tell you that. But it is rules around the world for sponsored content like this, you know? Um, it is one of the... But I am very happy to report the Glyph is amazing. You should all play it. Glyph is great fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good luck with the press release named Glyph Keys... Glyph Review Keys ready to roll out. <laughs> you wanted to make one for your poor imagination, but you can't! Fudge. Yeah, don't want to fall foul of the ASA. Don't also want to fall, fall, fall foul of the sand, but here we are. Like, I've already finished this level. I shouldn't be struggling here, but yeah, here we are. But yeah, no, I, I understand, David. Like, I, I understand what you mean. Like, you don't want to come in and be like, oh, I was right. It does blow me up. I was right. It does blow me up. Why didn't it blow me up the last time I touched it? Red is bad. No touchy. And thus we learned a lesson. Re I should already have known that lesson. This is a repeat lesson that I should not have needed to repeat. Yeah, here we are. Love and compassion. <laughs> Garden Herman and I, same mind. I mean, red does, red really does go with this pigmentation, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How many times did I set my controller down during the shuffler? Uh, one too many? Question mark. Love and unity. There you go, made in unity then. Whee! Time trial. Time to go and do my time trial. The trial of time. Oh, so we're going to run the outside this time, is it? It's a case to just find the best launch and go. Oh, yeah, this is definitely just a case to find the best launch and go. 
This is a momentum level. This is just keep your momentum and go for it. First time. Nailed it. Booyah. Easy. That was a good one. That was a good one. I like this. I like this a lot. All right. Up to the next area. Here we go. But yeah, generally I try and make sure that when it comes to doing sponsored games and things like that, it's games that I think I will enjoy. It's games that actually look interesting to me, games that I think will be fun. I don't want to take games like Willy Nelly and whatnot. Like, I'm not going to do a Fortnite stream or anything like that. It's like, no, it's not what my channel is based on. But I do love indie games and I'm always happy to check out fun indie games that grab my attention. And Glyph, during the Steam Game Festival, when they had their demo, I'm just like, yep, I want to play Glyph. I want to play Glyph. Actually, here's the thing. One of the developers of Glyph actually reached out to me and they were like, hey, I saw you on the Steam Game Festival video talking about platformers and we noticed you didn't mention one game. And it was like, what game is that? Our game, Glyph. It's like, do you want to take a look? And then I saw the video of it and it's like, yes, yes, we do. So if it wasn't for them reaching out to me for seeing me on the video, then I would never have known about this. So I'm very glad that they did because here we are now and we're playing Glyph and it's good fun. It's nice. This place fell apart long before the cataclysm. It used to be called the House of Alchemy. Elders here sought ways to extend life itself. Legends have it that the gods were angered and called upon an earthquake to stop it. Since then, it has been called the House of Ruin, serving as a warning against forbidden practices. There were rumors that mad alchemists would still come here to experiment at night. Hmm. Oh, no. All right, here we go. And we need 15 coins to unlock. We've got 90. So we can unlock all of these and still not have to go into them and actually collect them, which is nice. Yep, the demo was there if you want to play it. The mo the, mo the moving here is really, really smooth. Like, the movement is genuinely really, really well done. There's not much in the way of slidiness. The responsiveness is like, you see that little line at the bottom? That helps so much in terms of being able to control. And you'll pick up the moment. Like, I, I feel like that you can pick up the momentum fairly quickly on it, you know? Marvin goes straight in for Golden Sun there. Give me Golden Sun 4. <laughs> ah, a Diamonde. Uh oh. I wonder. Nah, I can't from here. There's got to be a launch to do that. Yeah, you've got the guide spot, but it's like, it's not, it's not super slidey. It may look it, but it's not really that slidey. It is fairly responsive. This place gives me the creeps. I get a sinister vibe. I'm glad I didn't have to spend a lot of time here alone. Sensing something odd about the tombs. Something is hidden here. Yeah, like bodies. <gasps> oh no. I don't want to search the tombstones. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, Crash 4 doing a good guide spot as well. I, I like games that add guide spots. It just makes it easier for people to play and enjoy, you know? You're not constantly having to worry about where am I going to land when I've done this big jump. You know where you're going to land. The game's going to tell you. I like how we've gone all creepy on the music as well. I know, right? Won't be surprised when zombies show up messing with the tombstones again. Haven't you learned from the movies? Don't mess with the tombstones! Yeah, Crash has that. Hey, on. Has a little like yellow or orange guide spot under their feet when you play them. Red is bad, don't touch it. Ah! Okay, I'm alive. He obtained. Hey, there's a lot in this level. Yeah, Roger at tombs here, you should feel right at home. Maybe this is Roger's home. Oh, well, there's my thing at the end there. Can I just say as well, by the way, I appreciate the dynamic music when you get the keys. Like, I'm not just collecting these at the right moments every time and then the music's getting more and more. It is the keys. Like, it's the keys that are adding the music, right? Yeah, I, I reckon trying to write this is going to be good fun. Wait, I need to find a way to get that diamond. I think I know how to get that diamond. So what we need to do now is we need to grab this. 
We're going to keep a hold of it. Your composer has done very good work. Like, I love that the dynamic music is a thing here. Actually, I'm going to go like this. Oh, yes! First grab. Booyah. Doodle doo doo. Doodle doo doo. Ooh. Okay, so there's my thing up there. So we're going to go up this side and find what we've got. <laughs> the inevitable failure of slamming into sand. And yep, yep. I feel you on that one. I feel you on that one, Rory. It's like, no, don't slam into the sand. Not again. Oops. Okay. There's my other diamond. Good landing. Right now, hold on. I can't do that yet. I need to go this way first. Doodle doo doo. Doodle doo doo. Doodle doo doo. Ah, I tried. Okay, I'm gonna do that the other way then. The other way being, grab a hold of your power up and hold it until you're ready. Hodge. Hmm. I was wrong. Doodle doo doo. Indie games and mods and retro are what you do these days games like this make gaming fun and worth it. Airman, yes. Yes, 100% yes. Games like this make it worth it. It reminds you of Glover about the bot controls. <laughs> yeah, little bit. Little bit. Instead of being the glove, you are the ball, you know? Right. Let me try. There you go, that worked. And then from here, it's... Nailed it. Nailed it. See, Cooler World. Yes, that's what I initially said when we started. It's like, imagine Cooler World. But without the rotating, without the, like, the rotating shenanigans that Cooler World has. Look at this. Speed up at the end of the level there. Mm. Noise. Cooler World is definitely up there in the games that I still remember. How are you doing, Akari Warrior? Hello, Airman. How are you both doing? I didn't get the thing. I need to go back in there because I didn't find the secret. I didn't find the secret. Should add rotating shenanigans. Wait, what? I mean, you could in some of your other levels. Random sandstorms. Wait, the root. Okay, so one of these has... One of these has my secret. Oh, which one is it? I'm going to guess it's over that side. Mm. Doing well. Nice, nice. It is behind a tombstone, yes. That is what the little glyph said. That is that is, is uh, that is what uh, Anobi said. Obi-Wan Anobi said it's behind a tombstone. There it is. Aha! No, not a sand tornado. Not a sand tornado. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm going to have to play bouncy off the tombstones now, aren't I? Oh, well, this is going to be fun. And, yep. Alright, that's fine. I see. <laughs> go, Roger, go! Oh wait, no, I need that. I need that. That's a key. I need that. Because the thing is, it doesn't matter if I don't get the keys right now. Simply because all four items that I need to grab, aka the keys and the stuff, they are all required items now. Ah, oops. Don't hit the red. The red is dead. 
Okay. Oh no. We keep on rolling. You see me rolling. They hating. Yeah, well, that's just going to take me back here. We already knew how to do the... There we go. Just land on the top of it and roll over. Just don't land on the angled surface. That's how you die. Whoa! Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're not dead. That's fine. Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Nice. Up to the big one. And now for the fun part. Getting back. Mm. No, really, it's gonna be a fun part. Watch this. Whee! Don't you go back? Please land it. Please land it. That's fine. That works. I'll take it. <laughs> Not what I was planning, but it works. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there are certain fires that you can touch. Red, bad, green, blue, good. So basically, red, orange, bad, green, blue, good is the general idea. Um, and then for some of the levels, it's kind of hard on this level because it's like all grays and things. But basically, light equals good, dark equals bad. The red fire. The red flame. Are you talking, um, are you talking about the... Like, in this particular level, um, it's the flames that we're talking about. I got everything in there, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, cool. Ah, yeah, that could be an issue. That could be an issue. Is it possible to add a colorblind mode in Glyph? Something to look into? So, like, can you see them being, like, orange and red then there, Fluffy? Because I can't touch any of them now. Could you add a symbol in the flame by any chance? Or like on the base or something? Oh, it's a time delayed trial. That's how this one works. It's a timely trial. And it's a dead. Like, I, th I think like adding a, a, a symbol or an icon there would help. That way you can see, like, as, as simplistic as it sounds, like, a, 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 tick and, a circle and a cross. Like, rather than it being different flames, circle is good, cross is bad, you know? Like, something to do that. Just, just something to differentiate between you can touch this and you can't, you know? That would be really cool, being able to ah being able to add more, uh, just, just to make it clearer for people being able to play the game, you know? But very big fan of accessibility in video games. Very, very big fan of accessibility in video games. There you go, there you go. Put spikes on the bowl around them if it's just those gothic levels. Well, I think this would be something that you would want to add to all levels, Fluffy, so that everybody could play. What if Badfire smoked? You would have to... It would depend on how different it is. It would depend... Like, it would have to be a significant difference, if that makes sense. Like, it would have to be significant enough that you can tell at a glance that it's bad fire. If that makes sense. Like, just like how the color does it for those of us that aren't colorblind. Like, you can see immediately red, bad, blue, green, good. But then you need, like, a symbol that you can recognize as well that says this bad, other one good. Smoke? Well, yeah, go for it. Like, I think that'll be something that'll take iteration. You're not going to be able to do it straight away. Like, the first answer might not be the right one. 
Well, yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, Pepsilla. This will be something that you want to not just do for fire, but also for the platforms, you know? Which is why I was thinking, like, a universal symbol that you could add. Like, right, for these platforms, for instance, right? The green platforms, you could add the into the center. So, like, when people are doing the whole top-down thing, they could land on it. That was rude. They could do the top-down thing on it. They could see, like, you know how you've got the scarab beetle here saying that it's a star? A symbol that denotes good and bad. Run button. Mm. That's a good thing. Having having the ideas is definitely a good thing. But yeah, just just something to make the game more accessible for anybody that wants to play it. Because, like, it would suck to find a game like this and be like, I can't play it because my colorblindness doesn't allow me. But, like, right on there, right on that hexagonal platform, just stick in one of the, uh, stick in just a little icon that's like, this is a good platform. You can stand on it. Put a design in the fire, like a flaming skull for bad and a scarab for good. Yeah, and it's something like that. Just so something that is able to be differentiated at, at a glance for somebody to go that's bad fire this is good fire you got it bad fire has audio fire bad fire bad fire bad <laughs> just going up to it fire bad fire bad fire bad Doing. I like it. I like it when devs are open to ideas. It's cool. As we say, gaming is for everyone. And now I'm in the lava. Lava! It might as well be lava. Whee! I went too high into the sky. All right, that's good. We No, do not use my voice for that audio cue. I mean, you could totally just fire bad, fire bad, fire bad. I'm, I'm thinking of Jackie Chan Adventures though. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Yeah, there you go. That's what you want to see here. You want to just. Oh, what? I missed the key. Thank you. I was like, I missed the key. <laughs> fire bad has our yelling. That works. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, it was too far. I didn't look up enough. Oh, is this deadly desert? I mean, you're not wrong, I don't think. Keep the speed, keep the speed, keep the speed, keep the speed. Punch! 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 Oh! Enable color by mode to hear Arg's voices, audio cues for everything that isn't otherwise visibly distinctive. No! That is how you get people to be annoyed at your video game. I do, I gotta get lower. I gotta get lower and get faster. But if I go too low, then I no jump. Oh, I didn't hold the button enough, that's too low! <laughs> too low! Gotta get lower, too low. Oh, Anobi, no! Anobi falls down, you go through. Hey, Shell Music, it's over. It's pretty cool, right? Like, it's very, very simple in terms of its design. I feel like it's very... Well, there's that word I'm going to say again. It's very geometrical. Like, I, it's very, it's very, like, angular, and I like it a lot. But what was the word that was said when with life, like, polygonal, almost? And it's like, I just, I love the way that it looks, but it's like, the way it plays as well is really good. That's a restart. Polygonic. Shadows do give it a lot of death. It's a poly roller. Whee! 
But yeah, I do I do love the aesthetic of the game. The graphics of the game are very nice. It's very pretty for me. It makes me happy is what it does. Oh, I got Neil. Yes. Don't ask me. I don't know. It's not like English is my first language or something. <laughs> kind of deserved that one. Oh, come on, Fluffy. Argo already struggles with English, confirmed. Please make it. Please make it. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Booyah. Booyah, 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 booyah. Booyah. Yeah. Yes, I saw that you're over in Copenhagen. It's great. It's great. I uh, I pass through Copenhagen when I go to uh, Malmo for the European Speedrunner Assembly, which is really cool. I also want to, next time I get over there for uh, ESA, I do want to explore. I want to explore Copenhagen a little bit, which would be really cool. But I'm I'm looking forward to being able to to travel to events again and that. Who knows? Maybe we'll run. Maybe we'll run Glyph. We will. Maybe we'll run Glyph. That would be cool. Hey, if I if I ever got the chance, I would love to come and hang out in the office. That would be good fun. Glacial remains. This one's gonna get all white then, because glacial equals ice. Ice equals cold. Cold equals white, blue, and whatnot. I was right. Hmm. Glyph is speedrunning events. Hey, you never know. As I say, I'm, I'm very tempted. I am very tempted, honestly. Route the game and play it and, and have fun with it and meet the community and, and go through it. Like, it, it could be, it could happen. It could happen. Skull looks like the moon from Majora's Mask. This is Roger. Roger, Roger is a skull. Um, thankfully, hasn't decided to, like, cannonball the planet yet, which is always good. Considering the amount of airtime we get on this, I'm actually surprised Roger hasn't cannonballed the planet yet. Hi, Glyph. How you doing? The ruins of the ancient temples I indicate a lot of turmoil. It is almost as if the site has fallen and been rebuilt several times. You have been scanning the area for a while now, and you have things to share. You stumbled over something by the cliff on the opposite side of that ramp. Something could be hidden there. Mm. Stay here and analyze some of the remains. Okay, boss. Thanks, Anubi. Roger is doing his best, but he is tiny, indeed. Certainly it would be logistically easy for you to have an in-person presence at ESA. That is very true. It is in Malmo, yeah. It's literally in... Ah! <laughs> it's in Malmo. <laughs> it's in Malmo. <laughs> I may have fudged it up there just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, literally just need to roll over the bridge. It's, it, it's Malmo is where it is, okay? Stop it. Bunch of trolls. Oh. But yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully either winter or um, summer next year. So either sometime in February or perhaps sometime next July, like we could maybe have Glyph at an event. That could be fun. I found a thing. I found a thing. Ah! I found sand. I found sand. That's all. Ah, it's in France, I believe. Uh-huh. This is fine. Not. Right, there's my secret. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Woo! Oh! Skip the entire puzzle. <laughs> Nailed it. It's like, what's that? A puzzle? Nah. Nah. I was going to say, watch me hit the lamppost now because that ham just a doom. It's like, good job. You had one job and you fudged it. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, please do take that as a huge goblin. You're, you fit in well with the community here and it is great fun. And it is a pleasure to have you here as we enjoy your video game. That's coin. And then down the bottom. Oh, no. That's fine. Right, I'm going to space now. Goodbye. Roger, grab the key. Nice. Oop-a-goo. 
I was going to say, please don't mess that. Yeah, I can't wait until we're able to travel as well. It'll be really cool. Oh, no. Going to ESA is definitely going to be cheaper than going to Disney. 100% confirm on that one. But, like, ESA and that'll be good fun. Ooh, we unlocked another dragonfly. We got a scratched dragonfly. Ooh. Ooh. Time for some tears. Why tears? No tears. No tears required. So what's this? Are you going to unlock like another area then? Ooh, Sentinels rise. So are you going to unlock like an individual level or another part of this full thing? <gasps> it's rising up. Ooh. Ooh. It went higher. Ooh. Ooh, me like it. Okay, and then we have the path of regret. No regrets here. Nope, no regrets here. No regrets here at all. Ah, uh, being realistic that you'd never get to an ESA. Chessy babe, never say never. Never say never on that one, honestly. There's just the path of regret. Citizens would come here to mourn the love losses of loved ones. The area also stands as a memorial to those lost in wars. Hmm. Legends have it that the ancient elders had the power to let citizens communicate from beyond. Yo, yo, Roger, you all right there? Roger's just contemplating life. Spin, spinning Roger. I am spinning Roger. Roger is just spinning as you do. Let me see if I can just like leave Roger sitting here where he doesn't really move. Just spinning Roger, spin. Spin. <laughs> Oh, there's a video of them recording themselves releasing the game on Steam. I would love to see that. That would be great. That would be great. The skull was Murray. Well, we got the skull now. Well, we're, I'm going to take another quick break here right now. And uh, we will be back in a couple of minutes. But instead of the BRB screen, you can enjoy Roger spinning. Remember, folks, stay hydrated, especially in the summer heat here. Stand up, stretch your legs. Make sure you go for it. Yes, please do post about it. Post about the Reddit post. I would love to have a look at that one. As we go through i will be back in a couple of minutes again enjoy the tune and i will see you in a moment roger just spinning contemplating life Our jams in the chat. Yay! Our jams in the chat. Do 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 do. 
do 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 do. That's good stuff. That is. Yeah, the only thing about um, the only thing about arranging childcare, Professor Monkey, is um, ESA themselves wouldn't do childcare because um, that opens a whole can of worms that you really don't want to open on that regard. Um, but who knows? Maybe maybe we can come to some kind of solution and maybe get Chesy Babe over there. Do, 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 do. No, I, I think they have a minimum age requirement as well, just to be super safe. Not that anything bad would happen, but it's there to prevent it. Also, Play Glyph, would you, would you mind if we showed that on stream, the video there? Go for it. Sweet! Let's have a look. This is what happened. When Glyph got released to the world, or all of us, let's have a look and see this. When Glyph was released to the world, it's a video. What's happening? I'm just about to release Glyph to uh, the world, and I hope you will uh, play and have fun just like we do. Let's see it. Oh, it's the button. Using the publish now. Publish now. Confirm the app release. Is that it? Yes, it's spinning down here. Oh. So exciting. In the meantime. Flag. Celebratory flag. That is a good flag, that is. My son. You preferred was your son rather than your employee. Oh, it's spinning the suspense. You just gotta wait for that tick to oh, see yes. The system that we just told to do like 100 things. Yeah, yeah. What happened? All publishing tasks have been completed. Your application hey. is visible on the Steam store. It took up to 10 minutes to appear. A new release and update to the new store page by clicking the link below. Click it. Click it. Cliff! Download the demo. You can buy it. Oh, there's a launch discount. Who what? Knew? Surprise! Well, I, I know. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Jasper. Hey, and there you go. That is what happens when you get a fully released Glyph game on Steam. Wait, that's really cool. And I'm, I'm glad people are enjoying it as well. I hope a lot of people are enjoying playing Glyph, because honestly, it's great fun. I think we should get back to it too. We should play some more. We should play some more of the game with Roger. Mm. Oh, the great ramp. Please tell me we're going to eat ourselves. <gasps> please tell me we're going to eat ourselves. Please, 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 please. It's called the great ramp. I've got a launch. We want to launch Roger. We're launching Roger. Come on. The great ramp. Oh, it's a big thing. Ooh, okay. So maybe not the launch that we were expecting, but definitely something to do here. Oh, I missed that bit. Almost, but not quite. Ah! Oh, well, there we go. Yeeting is always that, yes. You know what's more fun? Uh, playing the game or uh, or um, being part of the community? Why not both? Both is good. Both is very good. E nope, just missed it. Mm. Sadly, there is no strat, only yeet. <laughs> no strat, only yeet. I'm not, I'm not hearing a problem with that, by the way, just so you know. Also, I didn't give me my dash there. I mean, Buglar, I'm really tempted to start learning the speedrun of this, honestly. Like, I think maybe tonight, because I feel like we're going to finish this fairly soon. I could be completely wrong on that, but I feel like we're going to finish this very soon and have all the things collected. And if we do, I'm kind of tempted maybe tonight we'll try a speedrun of it. You know? Just for that funsies. Ah! Ah! Ten seconds, how? Magic. Magic is how. But yeah, Professor Monkey's like, it would be interesting to see if there was a way to try and get like childcare and sorted for that for events. But I feel like if there were, we'd have a lot more happy parents, you know? Ah! 10 seconds, 469. Nice. I like how you had to get all of them in there. Like, not just the four, but also the 69. Right, land on that. 
Over, 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 over. Under! <laughs> Under! <laughs> Fudge. The great ramp too strong. Ah. You are indeed on speedrun.com. I didn't make it. No, 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 no. Not for the whole game. No 10 seconds for the whole game. Just for this particular level. I, want, I, I imagine the categories that we'll have for this will be like any percent and 100%. Or like all levels or something. Because those are the categories that like make sense in my mind. Are you kidding me? I could have had that. But you didn't grab the key. You didn't grab the key. Yeah, that that is that is true, Chesie, because you have uh, you have eldest as well, so you would have to think of something that is like dedicated eldest care. Oh, come on, come on! What do you mean I didn't grab that key? I disagree. Yep. No. <laughs> Roger! <laughs> Roger! I am not a ball with wings. I am a skull with wings. His name is Roger. No, legit. His name is Roger. Hey, Zana. How you doing? Yeah! There we go. We got the gold. We got the gold. 12-7-3-3. That'll be good. You want to come up with a way that you can get to a speedrunning event like ESA now? It would be cool. Like, it would be definitely cool, you know? Very stressed, but hopefully your suffering will end soon. Well, I hope your stress ends, because being stressed is no fun. Being stressed is no fun. Instead, enjoy as we fly around this lovely little desert planet. This lovely little desert planet. Hmm. All right. What do we got on this one? Ooh. Run our way through. How do we? Ah, up the top there. Hmm. You don't already tell you need to. Ah, spikes. I mean, Roger is cool, but Sparky is also cool. Scrappy, even. Like, that's the thing. You've got lots of cool skins here. And while, like, I d mm, yeah, Roger would be cool on the marketing, but at the same time, fudge. I would think you want to keep Roger secret. Ah, I see. That's not fun when speed communities go like that. Not fun when there's speed drama. Yeah, Roger is cool. No bones about it. Except from skulls. Only skulls. Ooh, there's my thing. Mm. Oh, no. The fallout is definitely going to be a thing, Xana. Yeah, I feel you on that. Hopefully, it will be... Uh, hopefully, it will be resolved and everything can go back into happy fun times like speedrunning is supposed to be. <gasps> Pot. Like, it's no fun when drama gets involved with, uh, with speedrunning. But, I will say, there is no place for misogyny or anything of that like in speedrunning. Transphobia, homophobia, being misogynistic, things like that. No, no place for it in speedrunning. Or gaming in general. It's supposed to be fun and inclusive. Absolutely no reason not to be. Happy to see you, Glove. Hi there. The time is really taking its toll in this place at the Sacred Shrine. The majestic pillars barely seem to hold up against dusty winds. Speaking of those pillars, I sent something about them. Maybe you can go and see if they hide something. They already did, and we did it. We did it. Yes. <gasps> Green flame. Oh, no. I made a mistake. But I'm alive. It's fine. Oh. Stop, 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 stop. Nailed it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Fly, fly, fly. Ah. Ooh. Hmm, ah, I see it. Okay. I was going to say, how am I supposed to launch myself over there? But I see how I'm supposed to launch myself over there. I do this. Yeah, yeah. Whee! Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. <gasps> Nailed it. Nice. Avatar capture. And double yeet. Such a high, majestic yeet. I'm going to land over on my feet. No, I'm not. I'm going to die. No! Save it. Save it. Save it. Safe. Stop! I made a mistake. 
I made a mistake. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Made a mistake. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. That's all I'm saying. Right. I need my two coins, and then we can go and get it. I am everywhere. Hey, nothing wrong with being everywhere. Everywhere is good. It's how people get to know you. You get ah. Please disappear. Thank you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Morning, tugboat. This is a neat game. It is a great game. Like, I will happily recommend this to anybody that wants to just play a nice little chill game. A cool platform. A cool 3D platformer with awesome momentum. A cool soundtrack. Really nice art style. And it's just fun, you know? There's something about a game that's just fun. You just play it. You have fun. You enjoy it. And that's it. And you get to play with the editor. You get to play with Roger. You get to play with Roger. Roger's great. Gotta love Roger. I didn't go back and go the thing, did I? Me dumb. Me silly. Yep, me messed up, Dragonfly. Gotta go back and get the Dragonfly. Excuse me. Gotta go back and get it. Mm. Well, the best thing is only Tugboat. If you don't want to dive straight into the game itself, there is a demo available on Steam. Uh, however, they do have a launch discount as the game launched yesterday. Game for silly fun, sounds like St. Rose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They have a demo if you wish to try it. Uh, however, as I say, the game itself is currently on launch sale on Steam as well. So you get a nice little discount, which will be nice. Mm. Difficult progression is fine. Um, there are... The time trial levels could be a little bit hard if you're not used to how the game plays. But honestly, all these levels where we get in the keys and whatnot, it, they, are, they are... It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Now, obviously, um, obviously, difficulty is subjective. So, like, I can't be like, oh, yeah, this game's the easiest game in the world because it might be easy for me, but it might be difficult for you. You know, like, difficulty is just... Difficulty is not a static measurement. So, what I find easy, you may find difficult. But honestly, right now, for anybody that's played any sort of 3D platformer, you'll be able to pick this up. You can, you can pick this up. Definitely. Secret review. I gotta fly over and get my secret again now. Doo -doo 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 -doo. More generous on the tide drive, shuffled a few levels, so it should be good. Nice. Momentum! Yes, momentum. Lots of momentum. Play with momentum. Momentum is fun. How to describe this game in one word? Momentum! Look, look, I'm just going. I'm so glad I landed on that. I was worried I might have fell into the sand. Noise. There you go. Gliding requires finesse. Unless you're Arg, then you hit the glide button and just go, yeah. What is finesse about that? Nothing. Nothing at all. A lost approach to the level we go. As we go as fast as we all know. <laughs> the word should be, yeah. Yo, we going to Olympus now? Is this Olympus Coliseum? Do, 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 Oh, green flame. Green flame equal good. Hold on, I can get all the way up there from that then. Woo! Yep, diamond. Unevolved Marble Madness. Yes! Marble Madness was a game. No Hercules, I am disappointed. <laughs> yeah, but that's what Olympus Coliseum is! Oh, fudge. Ugh. It's Sky World. Oh, we going Zelda now? We, we Zelda now? Up in Sky World? Uh. 
<laughs> there you are. Good to see you. Oh, wait. I fell down again. Sorry. There you are. Good to see you. What a view. I imagine giants might have been here. They may have. Time seems to have taken its toll on the structures. My initial scans reveal something strange around the structure at the top. Something might be hidden there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you doing? You doing? Uh, oh yeah, Sky World. It's Sky Loft in Zelda. My apologies. Yes, nobody has a Scottish accent. It is no canon. There's no canon. Nice. And then there is something about the top here. It says. I think I saw it. I did see it. Hit the button. 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 Nice. Don't do that thing at the end there. Right, okay, so where is it? Is it at the very top now, I wonder? Right, we gotta find it. Oh, rings! We're gonna get the rings! Here we go. Rings, 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 rings. Gotta be careful not to fall. Too late. Oh, oh, oh. And then how does one get back? Well, it's angled, you see, so what you do is you grab that and then just eat yourself. Whee! Done the hole and nailed it. Been playing a lot of Sonic recently? Yes, yes, I have. I mean, I, I play Sonic all the time. I wonder why. How did you know? How did you know? Now, hopefully you enjoy it, Tugboat. If you enjoy it, then uh, make sure you, you grab a call because it's, it's great fun. <gasps> we're done. Okay, we're done. New area. But where to now? Because I do not have a person to open up thingy magic jigs yet. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, do we have level here? Or is this back to the start? That's back to the start. Mmm. It's red, so if I touch it, I blow up, right? I'm gonna touch it. Oh, wait, no, I see what I need to do. Oh, I have fire! Arrgh. Right. So now, I gotta go find more lightning. lightning. To the top! Whee! <laughs> yeah, you blow up. That's fine. I had to find out. I had to check. I had to. Oh. It's fine. Oh, love it. Right, I gotta find more of my bugs then, cause they've moved away. Where are my little lantern friends? Found one! Oh, fudge. Mistakes were made. Saved it. Saved it, saved it, saved it. For a 3D platform, you really need a demo to get people. I agree with that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I feel like I should have got these when I first got them and I didn't. Ta da! Oh. Do, 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 do. And inside the temple, there are more levels! The big reveal! So now I can go hit the thing up the top there, dang it. Yes, I can. Of course I can. Watch. Nobody can stop me from hitting the thing up the top there. I can go anywhere, for I am, Ro I am Robert the Skull. <laughs> I'm not going to, but I could. Know that I could. Alright, four more levels. Ooh, more levels. The inner sanctum. 65 coins. What? How many coins are we getting? <laughs> okay. I called him Robert. Sorry, I meant Roger. Why did I say Robert? Different person. Demo should never have stopped being a thing. Reminds me of Cluster Drug. What'd you get? Yeah, Cluster Drug was good fun. Yeah. Early access. Like, see, I... I'm in two minds about early access. And the reason I'm in two minds about early access is because I've taken part in a number of early access games. Some that were really good and became really good games. Others that kind of just went nowhere. Like, they went nowhere. And it, it was really a shame because, like, you bought into it and then the games just, they kind of fizzled out, you know? I, either, like, I can't say if it's because of lack of money or if it's because of lack of passion or whatever, but I feel like a lot of games could benefit more from having a demo to play. Even if it's just your first level. Just to give somebody a taste, you know? And not having to buy into early access. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Whoa. But it's like, there, there's, there's been a lot of times where it's like, I honestly say to myself now, it's like... 
Yes, I wake up in the morning and I honestly say to myself, but no, like I, I generally don't dive into early access games straight away now. There's been a few recently that have been really good and I've been very happy on. But yeah, it is, it is one of the things where it's just like, do I really want to try and like it's it's, it's almost like Kickstarter where you're taking a risk on an early access game, if that makes sense. Like, you are supporting a game early enough in the hopes that it becomes the good game that you want it to do, you know? <laughs> Is Battle Royale still a trend? Is Fortnite still a thing? Early access can be good if the game is in late beta stages, like, almost released. But when a game is early alpha and it takes... Yeah, no, exactly. If a game releases in, like, super early alpha, they're kind of just like... Alright, fine, I guess. You thought it was Star Wars commercials and concerts? Oh, I thought it, I thought it was uh, I thought it was the latest Marvel movie, but okay. I did. I found it. Your senses were failing, but who you ever came by here like, then got a lot of havoc. Huh? You must have cast some kind of curse over this place. My senses are barely working here. I will recalibrate my senses before I go. See you around, Glyph. Okay, bye. Bye, boss. See you later. The only early access games you look into are games by established death. Like, Rogue Legacy 2 is early access. Yeah, but as you say, like, Rogue Legacy, they, they have Rogue Legacy 1 to fall back on, so, like, they have a track record. And the downside is, like, it, it, it just, it feels like it's unfair. It feels like it's unfair for, like, a first-time dev to come in and, like, they want to try early access and use early access for the betterment of their game, but they can't because, the, the like, early access has been sullied, if that makes sense. Hades is a game that I really regret not jumping into when I first heard about it because I had so much fun with that game. And I would have loved to have helped out, like, giving ideas on that one. But, like, I, I definitely agree that Early Access has bad rep. Like, it definitely does. And I'm, I'm part of that reasoning, basically. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. Uh, huh. Oh, Timber! Woo! Yo, Timber! Hold on. Timber! Yeah! That's cool. I'm still dead, but that's cool. I'm not dead, I saved it. Yeah, look, you added physics! You added physics! That's no, I love that. That's cool. I broke the level, but this time it was intended. Yeah. Oh, Kickstarter totally has an equally bad rep. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, Kickstarter is one of those things where I've had some really good Kickstarter games, and then I've had some really bad Kickstarter stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, no, the pillar didn't know. I didn't notice the pillar. The pillar noticed me. It's like, ooh, pillar fell down. Like, Ark fell down on the pillar. But, um, no, Kickstarter, Kickstarter is equally the same. It's like, you are crowdfunding. You are taking a risk while you do this. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you get burned. And I feel like that's the same with um, with early access games. You buy into an early access game, sometimes you get a really good game. Like, um, I can't remember. Did Shovel Knight do early access? I got the Punkin after. Oh, we got we got avatars. We got avatars. For every bloodstain, there's a mighty number nine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mighty number nine is. I will stand by mighty number nine. Mighty number nine is not a terrible game. Here we go. We got this. Scratched. Oh, look, another dragonfly. My number nine is not a super terrible game. My number nine is not a multi million pound game. Pumpkin! I'm a pumpkin now. Look, I'm a pumpkin. Yeah! I'm a ghost! Oh, I'm a ghosty! Oh, I'm a ghosty! Okay, that is cool. That is cool. That is awesome. I'm a ghosty. Boogie, 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 boogie. Oh. I'm a ghost. I like that. So now you got the punk, Ken. Because look, it's the punk one. So is that a punk ghost as well? Ooh. Oh, look. It's got little happy eyes on it. Eee. And a little pumpkin lantern. Okay, I like this. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. See, hand time, ukulele, mate number nine, shovel knight. Shovel knight and a hand time, fantastic objects of it. Um, and then there's other games, not so much, you know? 
But, um, but yeah, like, for me personally, my number nine was not a terrible game. Rainbow Turtle! Rainbow Turtle! Yeah! Let's do this level as Rainbow Turtle. We'll do this level as Rainbow Turtle. But, uh, before we do that one, but yeah, like, Mighty Number no. 9 is not a terrible game. Like, Mighty Number no. 9 is, as Xana says, it is a classic Mega Man game. That, it's a spiritual success of a classic Mega Man. It has some good points. It has some bad points. It's definitely not, like, a one million pound game that it earned on Kickstarter, right? Everybody was expecting to have some, like, super ultra mega awesome Mega Man success. And the amount of money that was brought into that, you're just like, no, 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 that's bad. That's bad. But yeah, there are there are some games there, as I say. Some really good ones you buy in the early access, and they're just absolutely fantastic. And then there are others out there, you get them, and honestly, I feel like the problem is, by the time they add new content, you've burnt yourself out in the game, if that makes sense. You know? Oh my god, did you really just do you guys have phones? Did you really? Oh. Mobile Glyph, when? Yeah, Eludian Chronicle is another one that's going to be quite interesting, I think, because it has, like, such a big backing of what it's trying to be. There are also some instances where games that aren't early access really should have been. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's no one-size-fits-all in early access, and I can only hope that maybe in the future it gets a better rep. But I feel like this is where demos come in handy. If you can have a demo and you can prove, like, yo, here's a demo of our game. This is what we're planning to make. If you like it, please come support us, you know? It's like, if you like it, please come support our game. Come support our development. Yes, it is the successor to Sakodin. Or at least it's meant to be. Why is it you give us the really cool tunes on the levels that last like 30 seconds they all felt like new games when they came out mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. ghost pumpkin avatar we're not kidding there's a ghost pumpkin avatar but yeah ga game development be hard is the thing you know oh yeah there's games that will clearly abuse the early access like fortnite's not early access oh <laughs> Fortnite's not early access anymore, and anybody that tries to say it is, it's just like, no, that game is, like, fully released now, thank you. Like, that game, oh, what, okay, it does that weird thing with my controller where it sometimes just decides, you're not getting the jump now. Fortnite still lists itself as early access. Now, Fortnite is not early access. F Fortnite is a, uh, a live service game. It constantly gets par partners in that for it as well, but yeah. Like, there is no way that game is early access. Not at all. Wee! Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, fudge. I landed right under it. Come on! I got ruined it. Oh, I got ruined it. Good English there. Nope, Fortnite Save the World is now out, I believe. They took it out of early access. Or at least they've made it where it's free to play, at least. Uh, see, anytime somebody mentions games like um, Eluding Chronicle and whatnot, you're reminding me that Sea of Stars is going to be a thing. Like, the RPG made from the people that made Messenger. That's going to be fun. I don't know of any of the legality of any of that, so I'm not getting involved in it. I, I do not know. Morality is one thing. Legality, I know nothing about it. So, yeah. I, I will say that now. Often lawless. You mean like Lucy? That's the third time I did that. I'm going to stop doing that. Like, that's the third time I did the same thing, Arg. It's clearly not working. You might want to stop it and do the level properly. That's going to be a good thing for you. Yep, yep, yes it is. Good job, buddy. Oh, can we make... No, no, you can't. You... You... I got greedy. I tried to go for a certain platform there and it didn't work. Uh, I, uh, um. is this the second episode or am I running in a who? Who? What do you mean? What do you mean? You've narrowed down the issue. I should stop touching the sand. I'm so glad you found that out for me. 
No, let's light Lucy. I see know what you did there. Yeah, kitty. Booyah. I mean, I should stop touching the sand, but the sand is so shiny. Fudge. Yep. Sea of Stars is still in development. It had a, it had a big Kickstarter in that as well. Uh, but yeah, no, there's a, there's a few things on Kickstarter. Like I backed a, I backed a lot of things on Kickstarter, and they've came out, and they were pretty good, and they were amazing. But on the same hand, I've also backed some stuff, and the person just like ran with the money, and it was like, well, that's a shame, because you're like, oh, I did it again, I did it again. Oh yeah, no, I played the demo before as part of the Steam Game Festival. And, uh, yeah, this is the actual game now. It released on Monday. Uh, the demo is still available if you wish to play it as well, which is really cool. Like, normally when a game releases, the devs will remove the demos. And, like, you can't play it anymore. So you're just like, yeah, you can do it now. So, like, it's really cool being able to just do all this stuff, you know. Beetle goes wee! It does. It does. Beetle really does go wee. How you doing, Elvin? It reminds you of Fee. Mm -mm. Your friend has his name in the credits of my number nine. You feel so bad from that. So do I. I backed the big three during that. Mighty number nine, ukulele, fudge, and bloodstained. I backed all three of those games at large levels. Like, like I, I, I did it like 150 plus for each, uh, each game there. Uh, 20, I think it was like 2016, 2017 was an expensive year for me on Kickstarter. Um, and the thing is, the main one that came out of that is the best, in my opinion, Bloodstained. Bloodstained came out. Um, and it was like, that's the one that ended up being the best. But just because it was the best, it was also one that took the longest to release, you know? Uh, and that's the, that's the thing that I find really interesting, is just how you have three games from three big-name developers trying to do a spiritual successor for games that we all loved in the 90s, and you had varying results of success at wildly different, um, wildly different costs, you know? Like, that's the thing. They, they had wildly different budgets going on. Oh, I will happily wait for the, uh, for the game as well. I will happily wait for a game. I know everybody likes to quote, uh, Shigeru Miyamoto, like, um... Not unfaithfully, but like they like to quote him as a meme, but no, it's generally true. A game that is released poorly will be forever remembered as bad, but a game that is delayed can be good, you know? Well, fudge. Mm. You backed a little ditty called uh, Fight Night. Ooh. Yeah, the last few months of work so would have to be, like, really scary, I think, for, for devs. You know? Like, trying to wonder, like, will this work? Will people like our game? Are we marketing it properly? Or uh, do we have enough people that are going to play it? Like, is it going to do... Like, there's going to be a lot of, of fears as a dev to try and do things, you know? Great respect for game devs, because... Yeah, let me let me find it. Let me find the Miyamoto quote. Basically, the quote is... A blah, 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 blah. Hold on, let me let me find the Miyamoto quote for you. The delayed game for a Miyamoto quote. Miyamoto's quote. A delayed game is eventually good. A bad game is bad forever, is what he said. Um, and that's in reference to, like, when you have to delay a game, delay a game's release. And it is, it is one of those things, like, it is, hey, it doesn't, it, it's, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those things where, it's, it's kind of true, you only get one, you only get one first time to play a game, you know, and if it's bad, then that's all somebody's going to remind you of, like, you're just going to be remember, oh, remember this game? Yeah, I had a bad time playing it, and like, that's it, you're not going to get a second chance. Some people will be nice and give you a second chance, but most people will just be like, nah, that game sucked, I don't want to play it anymore. Do, 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 do. Yeah, poops. I gotta, I gotta stay lower down. I gotta stay lower down. Only just recently, 100% of the last two things in Ritual of the Night. I'm still gonna play Bloodstained. I'm still gonna play Ritual of the Night. Both versions of it. Again, I've never, I've never actually played Castlevania. I, I, 
I the irony is I backed Castle I backed Symphony of the uh, sorry I backed Bloodstain, and I hadn't really played Castlevania, but I backed it because I had a lot of friends that wanted to see it succeed, and I'm just like, well, if they like it, it must be a good series. I'm going to back it, and I'm just like, there you go. I mean, I just finished Super Mario Bros. 3 for the first time yesterday as part of the, uh, the shuffler, you know? Like, it was, yeah. Yeah, that was rushed to have a bad release. I mean, if you're talking about games that were rushed to have a bad release, No Man's Sky takes the cake on that one. No Man's Sky takes that. I, I have heard about that, Omega Mario. There is only one person whose reaction I am waiting to hear from. And you know exactly who it is. Super Mario Bros. 3 was a great Kickstarter. I was, eh? Hey, Remag, how you doing? I mean, it definitely had a good rework. I'll give you that. But it's also one of those things where it shouldn't have needed a rework. Yeah, I... Mm. <laughs> Bowie's already reacted. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Mm. Oh, what am I shooting for? Oh, yeah, my face is covering that information. 32 seconds, Anna. 32 seconds. Hold on, I, for I forgot. Let me, let me move my noggin. Let me move my noggin. I'll move my noggin down here. There you go. I've moved my noggin for you. Now you can see what I'm aiming for. Oop. Let me actually make it where it lines up. I like it when it lines up. There you go. Look, it lines up a little bit better now. No, it doesn't. Line up. There you go. It lines up really well now. How's that? That's good. Right. Try that again, shall we? Yep, arg nudge. Poof. Poof, poof, poof. Push me down. Do, 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 do. Oh, poops. Do, 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 do. I'm happy that there is a new 2D Metroid coming through. I'm personally more of a Prime fan than the, uh, the 2D games, but I am happy that there are people that are really excited. Ah, oh, platform. That are really excited for the, uh, for the release of Metroid Dread. <laughs> Greg. Yo, Turtle, come on. We believe in you, buddy. Like, you're a good Turtle, buddy. We love you. There you go. Maybe I don't need to do that one, and then we just go... Ah. I was hoping to get a big bounce there, but I didn't. Instead, I ended up falling through the platform. Right, here we go. Big fly up. Ah, nope. Just run it through, 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 run it through. Slam and jump. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jump. There you go, there you go. Making your way through Unravel too. Ooh, gotta unravel your way through that mystery. Fudge! I keep getting silvers. Maybe, maybe I gotta just do single jumps of that second set there and then. Like, do the big flies up here. And then... Well, thanks for missing my key there, buddy. Keys to the ruin on that one. Try it again. Yo, where's my fly? Where's my fly? Well, that was an interesting way to handling that, I guess. Really? Oh. Yeah, so you can make that in one. You can. I bet you could. I bet you could actually. Hold on. Yeah, you totally can. There you go. I'll get gold now. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I had that game and you know it. And there, you stole my flight. That's fine. Mm. I landed on that the moment I slammed. Oh, there was these. Oh, too much sand again. Thank you for the blessings. That's not getting enough height to it. Right. Just land on this and go. Oh, you missed the key, sir. You missed the key! Sometimes you do it and you lift the key. That's not going to make it. Oh, it stole my thing again. Uh, that means I'm going to have to land here. But it doesn't mean I can do that. Right, we got the key this time. Come on, Ark, you got it. 20, 29, 30, 31. Yay, we did it. Woo. Booyah. Done it, at long last, and we got the gold one. Yo, and Amber's back. Something was unplugged upstairs and nobody said anything to you. But does that mean you have internet back now? Booyah! Booyah! We did it! That took a while. That one took a while, but we got it. We got it. Nice. Welcome back, Amber. Oh. Abzu is the underwater game, I believe, yes. Oh, I'm very happy about that. That went really well. Okay, here we go. This is amazing, Amber. This is so much fun. Okay, um, we've done turtle. What else do we want to be? Oh, we unlocked chest and cyberpunk and scale bug and rainbow and turtle bot. But we want to be Roger. No, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Amber, Amber, look, look, look. What's in the pumpkin? What's in the pumpkin, Amber? What do you think is in the pumpkin, Amber? What's in the pumpkin? Look. What's in the pumpkin? Ooh. Ghosties in the pumpkin! Yeah! Love it. Love it. Anyway, let's go back to, uh... Let's go back to Roger. So, Roger and I are going on an adventure again. Roger's mysterious adventure. See, I never really got into the cyberpunk hype train, unfortunately. As we go through. What, well, Roger? Roger or Ghost Day? I love Ghost Day, but I like Roger, too. Hey, Agnosticon, how you doing? Ooh, secret platform. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, lots of secret platform. San Goste. Yeah. San Goste. How you doing? Okay, so we got this one. So where is it launching me then? <gasps> it launches me like four different ways. Yay! I went the wrong way. I can recover. I cannot recover. Fudge! <laughs> Mistakes were made! Let's go this way then. I'm good. <laughs> you chose poorly. I did. I had the I had the ability to pick a site and I chose poorly. So we got a whole bunch of platforms now that we gotta go through. It's gonna be awesome. You did you type poorly too, but it's fine. <laughs> do 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 do. Do 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 do. Um. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. I chose porridge. What? Oh, oh. Oh, it moves. It moves. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in a bad place. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. Those move. I did not expect that. Oh, come on. Come on. Fell down. Fell down. It's a lot harder to join the hype when you when you have the funds to support. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't feel like it's harder to join the hype when you when you have funds to support everything. It just means that you get to not worry about which games you want to buy and play. I will admit, for me, it's less funds that of gaming that's my problem, and it's more time. You know, I have I have a lack of I have a lack of time to play games. Says the streamer, like you know, I, ironic. I know. Oh, you mean don't have fun. Right, I get you, I get you. That makes more sense then, yes. It's hard to get hype about the games when you don't have the funds to play it. Understandable. 
Well, my response to that is that's why we choose indie games, because indie games are amazing. Oh, nuggets. Oh, double. Oh, triple. Okay, this is fine. Um, Can I get... I can get back there. We can do that again. Let's go again. But no, I, I, I feel you on that one. Oh, I missed. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. That's fine. You can be alive here when you do this one. But no, that makes that makes more sense. Like it's hard to be hype if you know you don't have the funds to support all the games that you want to play. As I says, I'm quite fortunate because I enjoy indie games. Indie games are relatively on the cheaper side of things. Personally, and I don't know how many people will agree with this. Personally, I think indie games are too cheap. I think indie games end up being too cheap, and a lot of people um, now refuse to acknowledge any indie game that's like higher than fifteen pounds. And I'm just like. But if you're going to play this game for, like, a large amount of time, surely they deserve your support, you know? I'm not saying they should go up to, like, £30 or anything. No, I, like, that's probably too much. But I definitely feel like 10 to £15, depending on what the price of the game is, might be too low for the amount of entertainment that you're getting out of it, you know? Boo. Wah! Oh, no. There we go. Nice. There you go. We got it. We got it. And we got that. Booyah. That is a good landing arc. Well done. Mm. I mean, you're always going to get people that will complain about something because it's not up to somebody's standard, you know? Yeah, no, I, I agree with that one. Like, in the, like, AAA games getting more expensive is something that is... It's something that is an interesting discussion to have about because, yes, the games are becoming more expensive, but the technology to make the games and produce the stuff is becoming more expensive as well. So it's like, eventually, something's got to give, you know? And in this case, it's our wallets, and you're just like, ugh. Like, there would be a nice easy media like there should be a nice middle ground for both i think triple e's slightly less expensive and get rid of the shady business practices indie games make them just a little bit more expensive so people can support the companies that they like you know oh fudgies oh fudgies okay that's fine this level's got a lot of stuff in it hi there i'm trying to get that nice <laughs> I like how it just has, like, the weird physics on it. It's like, I'll float, but at the expense of you. All right, let's go see, uh, let's go see Aobi. Nice to see you. I know that you, I see that you know your way around. I've been studying this place for a while now. There's a lot to learn here. I'm not sure what these emerging disc arrays are supposed to do, but I will look into that with my analysis systems. Do you see that tower with the flame on top all the way over there? I picked up a strange signal coming from it. Perhaps you should investigate it. I will put up my analysis system in the meantime. Ooh. Hey, congrats, Cody Nova. Congrats on getting your second one. The uncertainty aspect with indie games. Many are absolutely worth the higher price points than what you can charge. But with less well-known studios, it's hard to figure out if it's worth the cost. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to find a way over to that big one. I need to make a decision. I've chose poorly. <laughs> 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 it's the moment, like, I've already realized. It's like, no, no, no. Like, I've chose poorly. That's fine. This level's a big level. A big level. Where is this launching me? I am a singular coin missing. That is launching me to absolutely nowhere. But I am somehow alive, so I accept it. Right, so is there a way over to that giant tower arg? Yes, there is. Does that have my coin at it? That has my coin at it. Okay, so you are supposed to get up there somehow. Oh. Is there a big launch point I'm missing? I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. I really do wonder. Oh, no, they, yeah, definitely. De anybody that get like, 
Anybody that says, oh, this game was too expensive, I don't like it, and they've played the game for more than 10 hours, I'm just like, you're talking out your butt. You're talking out your bum, and you know it. All right, getting tiny, flappy little alarms that cross over. You never knew you needed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please tell me you've got a thing at the end here that I can use. <gasps> you do. Roger, stop hitting your head. Right, wait for it. Roger. Roger. Good job, Roger. Good job. All right. Wrong. Right. Right. Wrong. Fudge. And then, there you go. There's your big launch. Yeet. So hold on then. Where is my... Ah. Hey, every day is How are you doing? What did that activate? Oh, the button in the top there. Sweet. And now we just roll all the way, all the way down. All the way over. You think I'm going to die, but I'm actually alive because I'm good. And from here, we boom. And we stop. And we land. And there you go. We got everything. Now I just need to find a way to the end of the level. Where be that's end of level? Hmm. Ah, there's the end of the level. Okay, I know how we're going to launch our way in there. Whee! Dun. Whee! Lovely. Having a panel that reviews games and recommends prices for them. If they get some decent credibility, having a badge indicating your game has been reviewed could help justify the higher price point. Possibly. Yeah, definitely. Could be one way to do it. As you say, it's the problem of being like a relatively unknown person. It's the same in content creation, you know? Like, you can have really good content that people enjoy watching, but they'll never see it because they don't know who you are. So, I like, that's the discoverability issue. Discoverability is uh, is terrible. Yeah, the old captioner has a little bit of trouble with the, the Scottish accent sometimes. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. You have yet to try Chris Tales, but you have access to it. Yep, Chris Tales is another one that came out. Mm-hmm. That's the flip side of the argument. People expect a lot of value for their buck these days. Yeah. It, it is one of the things that you got to struggle on. But how are you doing, Super Bass? And you know, we are coming up. We are coming up to our last hour of the stream here for this one. So hopefully, we'll be finishing this soon. So do you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do, as we always do? What we always do? What we always do is we are going to stretch and hydrate, but we're not going to take a break this time. No, 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 no. I'm not running the ad break this time. No, no, no. What we're going to do is we're going to do what Arg does. Mm. We're going to do what Arg does every time he gets a copy of a game that he enjoys and he plays. We're going to stretch. We're going to do the break, but I am going to set up for a giveaway for a copy of Glyph. The developers of Glyph here were kind enough to give me a copy of this game. I was going to buy it anyway. So what I like to do is I like to pass on that love. They gave me a free copy of the game. I was going to buy the game anyway. So let's pass on that love by giving away a copy of the game as well. Going to give away a copy of Glyph on Steam here. So we are going to get you all set up. All you have to do is do exclamation mark enter. And be here when we draw the code at the end of the stream. So let's open up the giveaway for a copy of Glyph. All you need to do, exclamation mark, enter. To get yourselves enter for a copy of Glyph on Steam. I will add you on Steam and we will gift you a copy of the game here. So it's one entry per person and we will see who wins the video game as we play it. But we're going to do that when we go through. I'm also going to just stand up and stretch here quickly. Stand up and stretch as we do. Stand up and go through. Hey, you can enter if you want. Imagine if you win it means I buy you a copy of the game. You know, the game that you made and already owned. But I buy you a copy of it anyway. But yes, there you go. It's, uh, as I said, it's just something that I like to do. Why am I bending over? I'm just going to stand over here so you can you can hear me, but you can't see me. But yeah, as I said, this is just something that I like to do when I play a game. 
and I am provided with a free copy of said game. I like to pass that love on and give you all a chance to win the game as well. If you don't win, I do hope you'll consider checking out the game. Remember, Glyph does have a demo available on Steam right now, or you can purchase it on the Nintendo Switch or PC, and it does have its launch sale right now. If, if, if Fluffy wins, you're going to make me do a giveaway with it. Lovely. Great. Mere giveaways because, you know, giving away other people's keys is a really easy thing to do. Not. <laughs> Not. <laughs> Fluffy, why? You Fluffy. Fluffy. Gonna not do that. Hey, Silent Bull, how you doing? Yeah, you can enter if you want, it's fine, I'm alright. I am the disembodied voice on the edge of the screen and you don't know where I'm gonna be. Alright, I'm coming back down now. Let's go, let's go, let's come back down. Woo! Let's come back down, let's play the rest of this. As I said, we got about another hour to go on this one. Maybe we will finish the, uh, the game on this one. Or, maybe there will be more levels waiting for us. Who knows? Who knows? But we will see what happens. But how you do it? But yeah, we have, as I said, you have about 50 minutes to enter for this, and we will see who is going to win a copy of the wonderful little glyph, as we do. Thank you for playing more 14. Ooh, nice. Enjoy it. I am grand. We are having a lot of fun. We are having a lot of fun with glyph here. It is good. You just weren't expecting it, so it just killed you. You weren't expecting what? You weren't expecting the Goni no day that? Oh. Nobody expects the Goni no day that. <laughs> The orange bad. I'm gonna go speak to. Uh, I'm gonna go speak to Obi. Hello. How you doing? Happy to see. Oh, hold on, hold on. I just so I don't roll off the edge there. Happy to see ya. Yay! I'm happy to see you too. This used to be a festive place where couples of humble villagers declared love for one another. Not much of the festive atmosphere remains. I wonder if it will ever return. Oh. Speaking of atmosphere, my sensors indicate that something is hidden here. By the end of the site around the portal, there's an unusual pressure in the air. I think you should go and check it out. I will stay here and I will recount some memories. The love level. Yeah. Fudge. Oh, I backflipped. Did you see that? Yo, look. I backflipped. That was cool. Oh, I didn't backflip there. Dang it. Doing. Doing. Getting all my coins. Because we love them. We love our coin. Oh, no. No, 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 Oh, come on. That was mine. I missed it. The hopeful twins. As I said, that's going to be a low grab one, and it was. Eh, oh, eh, oh, oh, eh, eh, oh, eh, oh, oh, eh. Nice. The safety backflip. The backflip of safety. Ah, right. That's too high. You know what? This is fine. I sprout wings and fly up into the sky. E All right, so we got that, and then there's some unusual air pressure down here, which means around here, there is a pot. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. 3. Oh. I gotta fly to the end of the stage. Look at this, I'm flying and I'm going in space. Okay, so where do I go from here? Secret revealed. Well, there is no secret to be revealed. Hmm. Yes, collecting all the coins makes the artifact appear. Um, collecting all the keys opens up the end of the level, and the diamonds unlock the uh, levels. That's fine. That's totally fine. Uh-huh. Oh, poop. It unlocks the levels, you know, when you fall down and die. Right, grab that, just so we can activate the music. Oh, you did not, you did. I gotta be careful just not to tippy tap the thing. Can we get down here? Oh, yeah, we can. And just go. Nice big fly. 
That game was being mean. It was getting me. It got me good. We got it there eventually, but Mario Bros. 3 got me. Not, not the biggest Mario Bros. 3 player or fan. I didn't have a SNES as a kid. I had a Mega Drive. That's my excuse. Bowser got me several times, yes. Yes, he did. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. So many times. So many times. It's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Inner Sanctum is done. So now we are going to go and do that. Oh, hold on. Did I speak to you before we came in here? I did not. This is the inner sanctum, the nerve center of the temple city of Aru. Aru. This is where citizens from many regions would cross paths or seek shelter in times of war. Merchants would pass through here, and elders would come to speak to locals. It was a bustling, busy place in the heydays of the temple. And now we're going to go through the door and see what opens up as we get the little bug here and go, Woo! Gem! Open the door. Oh, yo, we getting launched. We getting launched. Here we go. Launch me. Launch me. Wee. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's funny. That was worth. I wonder, though. I wonder. Please tell me I found the perfect AFK position now. I really hope I have. I hope I have. Oh, I haven't. Feels bad. I haven't. I thought I did, but I haven't. Aww. Whee! Boo. Okay, no, we are, we are definitely dead, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I messed right. Hold on. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oops. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can make that last infinite light. Maybe. Maybe one day we'll try it. Oh, that'll be funny. Oh, no. Not again. Right, there you go. There you go. Oh, straight up the top. Boom. Secret. Oh, I'm dead now. Not dead. That's fine. Right, new area. More levels. Big wow. Forgotten workshop. With, like, so many areas in here. All right, I say that maybe we'll be finishing this today. I don't think so. I think we're coming back here tonight again. Hmm... Hmm. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. This isn't supposed to be tennis, but it is. It is, and I like it. Hmm. Glyph Taspy, don't you? Might be able to, yeah. Indie World is going to be 20 minutes. 20 minute Indie World. I knew that was going to blow me up, yet I still decided to touch it. Indie World should be good fun. Like, I'm hoping to see some good news from games on there, because, like, you know, Indie World is, like, just funsies. Well, that sucked. There you go. That's how you touch that without blowing up. You don't touch it. Ooh, the levels are getting bigger and bigger. No, I know you're not sorry, Chessy, babe. That's fine. But, but you're right. It is simple things. Simple things in life, you know. If it's like any other standard Nintendo stuff, it's probably going to be like 5 p.m. or something. 5 p.m. British time tomorrow. Yeah. Land on the wall, land on the wall, land on the wall. That's fine. You can just run around the side of the wall and they can't get me. The explosive things can't touch you. If you don't touch them, they can't touch you. I like the fact that I managed to guess which one it was coming at. I'm good. Yo, you done here? What up? Hey, good to see ya. How you doing? Analyze this place for a while, but you have a hard time figuring it out. There are indications that this place has seen royal presence. Corruption did a lot of damage, it seems. 
Do you see those flatting platforms up there behind me? My sensors indicate something is hidden up there. I will continue to investigate the sensor data. Mmm. Ah! Oh well. I fell down. Hold on, they're green. Can I touch them and get power back? Oh! Oh! The lampposts! They has power! Oh! Okay, that activates rings. I like that. Lampposts have power. Up we go. Diamonds are forever. This is where the thing gets hard, because what you need to do is you need to, like... Oh, that's fine. As long as you touch it. Oh, no. Like, as long as you touch it, it will bounce you back up, and you can gain a little bit of height from it. There you go. Right idea, wrong execution. Jump on the underside of the floating platforms, eh? A mystery. Well, yeah, it's indie world, so of course people are going to complain about no Smash News, because, you know, reading is hard. No, I didn't save it there. I tried, but I didn't. Oh, no. It was like, oh, no. That didn't go well. So I wonder if we've got both sides of them, then. Oh, we do. We've got something else over here, too. Let's find out. Let's go this way, then. Maybe I'll have a launcher that can launch me over. Ooh, maybe it does. Ooh, ooh. Don't touch it. Ah. Okay, more rings. Ah. Ah. All this silly bouncing is making you want to go watch Sonic Spimble. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A game has silly bouncing, therefore it's fun. I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Whoop, we go. Ah, more undersidey platforms, shenanigans. Nope, 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 nope! I fell down again. This is going to be like a pretty solid level, actually, to try and speedrun. I mean, that's because I'm doing it hard. Like, you're not supposed to jump from them. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to come down here and then go up the other side. And actually go up the buildings this way. So what you do is you just do this. And then you land it. Oh no! Oh no no right. No 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 right. Ta da! Oh! Ay ya! Ay ya! Ay ya! Ay ya! Ay ya! Whoa! No 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 no! And then, from here, I landed on a coin, booyah. Can we grab that? Yep, fire bad, fire bad, fire bad. No touch fire, fire bad, fire bad, fire bad. Hey, Amelia Chai. Whoop. Oh, that's not a good set of bounces. Actually, no, we can go do that, that's fine. There we go, let me just wait. Oh no, oh that's fine. Do, 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 stop. Oh bo 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 Nice. Fire bud! There you go. And then from here, 
from here we do this. Wow! Shirumi Kami, thank you for the sub. There we go. I thought I was going to fall off the edge of that platform there. But I didn't. Thank you very much for the subscription. I hope you're doing well. Alright, where am I going from here? What did that activate? It activated something. If you win the giveaway, you'll put two more keys on the line. Ooh. Well, there you go. They're making it more interesting there. Up we go. What you go? The game go good music. Game go bangers. I like. I agree. Game go bangers. But there you go. We'll see. We'll see. <gasps> I see. I see. I see. Ooh. Go 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 go! I'm not gonna make that, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> oh, right, that's fine. We'll do it from the other side then. We can do it from the other side. This is fine. Up we go. Up we go. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! No 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 no! Hey 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 hey! Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, Brian. That is the good thing about being a mod is like you want somebody to be a friendly face and be super welcoming to the community rather than somebody who's here to. To ban um but it's also a case of us like if somebody who is going to be a troll sees the hammer then there's a chance that they may be less likely to act on their actions doubt but you know you get the idea this game is absolutely legendary this game is legendary like it is good fun and i'm missing that again we are giving away a copy as well at the end of the stream here at the end of stream one we're definitely playing this again tonight like, this is guaranteed. We're definitely playing this again tonight. Whoop. Oh, no. Right, where can this actually land? Not on that. Fudge. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, no worries. I mean, make sure you make sure you take care of yourselves. You're having your food in that as well. But yes, we will definitely be doing this again. Do. Wait, I missed Moogle saying something. What's up with Moogle? What's up with Moogle? I'm going to fall in the sand now because I'm scrolling up. What did I miss? Oh, you didn't miss anything. You're all good, Moogle. We're just, we're just talking about how mods and that are... Uh, like you, you Rather than being a person who's here to ban, they are a person who is a friendly member of the community. Like a friendly face. Yeah, no, no. We're, we're, we're just talking about um, how mods and that are, are friendly, you know? But yeah, it's like you, 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 you are friend. You are a known. Generally, the way I, I try and have mods are people who are friendly within the community, who have been here a long time, who have the same values as I am, and uh, generally understand when to enforce things. You know, that's why I have Moogle, Chesy, Amber, and uh, Tiny Tim. We do also have Josh. Josh is a longtime friend, but Josh very rarely comes in here in mods because he doesn't have to. Josh mods for other bigger streamers and uh, understands that. There are people out there who can be real trolls at times, but doesn't have to come in mod in here because, well, as he says, we're quite lucky we have a really friendly community who are a good bunch of folks. So modding is like 99% of the time unneeded. Tiny Tim is a great person. Tiny Tim is awesome. Like, Tiny Tim does a lot of good stuff. Right. How do I launch myself over there? Hmm. Oh yeah, no, the emote's there. The, the, oh yeah, no, you, you've, you've seen it. You've seen it. Hmm. How does one get that? Like, I don't see another big launch. That's the thing. I feel like you are making me try to do that one. I feel like I'm on the right path here. Hmm. 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 Yeah, the barbers of Rose are a protect people. Yep. 
Hmm. How does one launch thyself to the thing? Hmm. Oh, nope. Oh, do, 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 That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. No, do that. Oh, that's true. I could jump from the fireplace thingy because I already. I don't need to jump from that. I just need to time my jumps and be like this. Put the bird there. There you go. There you go. There you go. I don't know why I was jumping from the other part there. I didn't need to. End of levels right there. Thank you for positioning that on the downside. Woo! Nailed it. There you go. There you go. I don't know why I thought I had to jump on the thing to restore my thing. I don't. Oh, you can be a birdie? Birdie! We can be a birdie. We can be a birdie. Oh. No, thank you for the hand there, Lieutenant Bob. We can be a birdie now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Birdie! You can be a frozen burb. Look. Burb. I am an egg. I'm from the egg. Bird! Okay, that's actually quite... Legit, that's pretty dang cool. Broly Barb! Woo! Backflip birding. Look, 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 look. Backflip bird! Yeah! That's actually really awesome. I like that. We have become Burb. We have become Burb. And then we've got chest and we've got cyberpunk. Yo, we got cyberpunk. We got cy cyberpunk bird. Look at this, look. Yeah. It's purple. I like it. I like purple orb. Purple orb is cool. Purple bug, purple bug, purple bug is really cool. Scale bug, is that like scale bound? That game that's never coming out. <laughs> scale bug, <laughs> that's a Bakugan. Whoever it is, like, yeah, no, that's definitely a Bakugan. <gasps> Genius! <gasps> Yo, we got a man. We got a man. Is this Eggman? Is this Eggman? Yo, we got Eggman. Look at this. Look, we got Eggman and a UFO. Spinny spin. Okay, you definitely had way too much fun doing these. Morty, we're in Glyph, Morty. Oh no, it's Rick and Morty, everybody run. I like the fact that you have, um, I like the glasses there. Are any of you a fan of uh, Jet Set Radio by any chance? It looks like Beats glasses that you have. They look like Beat gl Beats glasses. Back to Roger. Hi, Roger. All right, so that was one level. Uh, we've done that one, so that's the Hillside Retreat. Oh. World Stop Speed Runner got to design a glyph. Nice. Curious and run shit. There we go. I'm good, Padas. How are you? How are you doing? Like, we are enjoying this game. This game is great. This game is great. Oh, look, diamonds. What is this? Okay, so we got spikies. Don't hit the spikes. Spikes go pop. We're now a balloon. If you hit the spikes, you're going to pop. Oh, fudge. If you hit the sand, you're also going to pop. <laughs> oh. It is. It is. It's like Roll Away the PS1 or uh, Cooler World. Cooler World, maybe a little bit like Monkey Ball, but this time you're controlling the ball rather than the stage. I just did the same thing again, so I'm dead. Yep, that's fine. Oh. Nah, it's just a purely cosmetic change, Roy Meadow. Purely cosmetic change. For you to play as your fun characters rather than anything else. No, this totally isn't Samus. This is a different character entirely. It's called Samus. It's Seamus Aran. Yes, that's it. It's Seamus Aran. You love platformers, but your death perception is just trash sometimes. Well, that's why this game will help you out because if you see at the bottom, oh, you're here, great. See the bottom? There's a lovely little circle that helps you with your death, which is really cool. Marvelous constructions, these are. A shame to see all of it in shambles. There are devices here that I haven't seen anywhere else. One device there in the center with strange vibrations. Hmm. Perhaps you can check it out. I will continue my analysis in the meantime. 
Whoop. Whoop. Nailed it. Whoop. Uh, it's a moose. It's a morph ball, but when it unfolds, it's a flying. Oh, it's a flying moose. Yeah, yeah. The buggy does want a hug. Yeah, buggy does want a hug, and I will happily provide buggy a hug. Cause buggy is cool. Bug helps. The bug is the one that uh, that that brought us to life, basically. Ooh. Oh, that's a timey wimey one. And that's the secret revealed, but that's a timer. That's a tower. Okay, where am I going? I'm over here. Oh, it opens up a like. Oh. You don't want to be on that when the key runs out, do you? No, you don't. Ooh. Oh, but what does yellow do? Nope, it doesn't do anything. That's good. Okay, I was away saying maybe I'm about to die, but we didn't die, which is nice. Diamond up in there. That's fine. Run away over. Run away through. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. No. Whee! So there's our scarab at the end of this one. And there's another coin. Because you gotta love good old symmetrical levels. Oi. There we go. Ooh, I hear a helicopter. Oi! And that helicopter is me! No, not really. But I do hear a helicopter. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Nice. Oh. Well, this is a bit of a bug. Sorry for the flashing images there. Um, I will try and get out of this section as quickly as I can. There you go. That's a bit of a bug. There you go. That's done. That's done. Sorry about that. That was not intended. Uh, that's the way I need to go. So now I want to go down this way. Whee! I think I was looking directly at the skybox there, which was causing the problems. <laughs> Epilepsy feature. Yeah, no. No, not a, not a feature you really want to have in it. It is perfectly balanced as all things should be. Now I have to climb that tower again. Now I have to climb that tower again. Dang it. Oh, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> we will remove the feature. Appreciate it. I, I appreciate it. I am surprised that did not touch me there. Less thinning out the week, please. <laughs> we do not wish to thin out the week. We shall help the week become strong. Ah! Never mind. Up we go. Up, down, and round. And then we go through. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, your laptop can run it? Nice. That is good. Oh, I'm going to land on that. That's good. Right, okay, up and in. And then I said it's down to the other side. But can I make it from over there? Yeah, you can. That's cool. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah! Um, stop it. Right buttons, please. Right buttons, please. Oh, no. Oh! I tried. I tried. I thought... I found the one little hole there, and I managed to fall right in it. The one part of the bridge, and I fell down it. I fell down it. As we go through. Yep, yeah, my hubris. My hubris. As we go through. I'm here! Great! Yes, let's try it again. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, yeah, I, 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 that seems to be the pattern right now. Let's go with that. I'm not going to use that one. Right, stop, 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 stop. This way. There you go. Makes it over, goes through. Let's go through. 
as we go down. Right, this side. Open. I think I have, what, one more, maybe two more keys? I missed my coin. Woo! Right, get the key, get the key, get the key, get the key. And when we get the key, we go through. Mm. Mm. And we go in. Owie. This game, but with multiple? Wow! Do you not want people to play this one? See you later, Tugboat. You have fun. I right, I have all them there. As we go. Right. Again, flashing image incoming, folks. Again, I do apologize. We're about to have big old flashing images coming through. So look away. No, Rooney Cookies, and it's all it's all good. It's all good. Ah, right, here, here it comes. I'll try and keep the angled camera down so it doesn't get it too much. Ooh, ooh, right, okay. Oh, fudge. Right, I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm back up. Oh. Ah, fudge again. Ah, double fudge. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Wait. Wait. There you go. We made it. We made it. It's alive. We're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I needed to hit the button back there. I'm going to go up the top and do it. I'm going to go up the top and make it. Going through, going in. In we go. And now I can activate it. We can go down. Boop. Boop. Around we go. And going down. Up and through. And now we can end the level as I have all the things. These levels have got really big. These levels have got really big. It's nice. It's nice. I like them. But yeah, it would be nice. I don't know if it's something that you could maybe fix there. Um, like the whole, if you look directly up, you get a little flashing thing. I'm guessing it's like the light source is just getting like blurred and, and re-thingied all the time. Which is what's causing it. Yeah. But that would that would be nice to uh, to to remove on that one. Round the edge of the level we go. Have I done this one? No. Giant's toy. Time trial. Here we go. There we go. Do 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 do. Mm. Oh, 20 seconds gold. Oh, we're gonna run the loops. We're gonna run the lippy loops. We're gonna run the lippy loops. Nice. We're gonna run the lippy loops. What's this? What's this? What's this? Lippy loops. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay, so we gotta find a way to get around all the loopy loops as we go through. Uh, Unity, I believe, is what the developers have said. Oh, I just messed that. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got Sonic loops. We got Sonic loops. It's cool. Because I immediately just want to hit that. And then just leg it. And then ideally don't hit the second one. Because if you don't hit the second one there, you can do this one. Mm. Is there a beach ball skin? I'll have to have, I don't know if there's a beach ball skin yet, but I haven't unlocked them all yet. Can I just say? Nailed it. Mm. Yeah! Oh yeah, and we've unlocked the disco trail. Disco, disco, go, go. Disco, 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 disco. Disco, go, go. Let's go for it or go, go. Right, last level in the inner sanctum. But we have like five plus worlds as well. Precarious peak. L difficulty level four. Difficulty level four here. Hmm. I wonder how much of the speedrun is. Perfect the early levels and then don't do any of this. Well, I could turn it on, but then Disco would literally be dead at that point, Murphy. <laughs> like Disco would definitely be dead at that point. So there are giant fireballs coming down here. I'm not going to guess not to touch the fireballs. But if they touch me, that's another problem. Mm. Not easy at all. They would have to. They would have to go and speak with Sega because they would need to. They would need to speak with Sega and Sonic Team. There are IP issues and that that you need to be very aware of.
Yeah, no, it's, yeah, I was going to say, it's like, easy to put it in. Not getting sued, that's the hard part. So wait, does that sand curtain kill me then? Because it's like a curtain of sand. I'm guessing because the diamond's in. Yep, yep, it does. Yep, it does. That's fine. That's just dandy, that is. I just realized there's another area there. I'm going to see if I can get to it before I die. That's a no. <laughs> Death by curtain. Yep, sand curtain. Let's try this. I've already been in sand all before. Why am I doing this? It's curtains for ARG. Not again. Everybody's now looking at me going, what does he mean again? All right, so that's just to the end of the level, so we're good. You know that part about being good? Yeah, just ignore it. It's fine. I'm good. That's uh, fine. Mm. Right. Right. Get out of there. Ah, I thought I was out there. I thought I was out there. No. That gem is going to be hard to get. Maybe I'll get it on the way down rather than the way up. Like, you've even made it... Lovely. You've even made it where it covers the outside, so that makes it hard. Hmm. Hey, Z, have I gone pro yet? No, Z, turns out the arena's a little bit backed up at the moment. It's a little bit backed up at the moment. They've got a bit of a problem going on. Have I gone pro? That, have I gone pro yet? Is in reference to the conversation that we had last night. You don't want to know. That, it, it, it is very unfortunate. It turns out 5v5 is a bit too much. Ow. One, Shido, because you just said it. One, and then it just happened. Oh, how you doing, Z? Last night was great. Who won the last Mario Party round? We did, because we the best. We the best. Oops. Degenerates the pair of you. <laughs> Yo, Ryu. Yo, Ryu. You don't want to join. You don't want to join us in one v one in competitive pithing. Uh, let's just say last night we found a run. We found an assorted set of images that were. Um, yeah. I'm gonna fly into that. No, <laughs> I really don't. Right, I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna focus on this before that conversation makes its way back here. There was a lot of toilet humor last night. That's all I'm gonna say. There was a lot of toilet humor. Ah, not right. Okay, we'll come back for that one. Yeah, we'll come back around here. <laughs> Never mind. That, I, I mean, that was a sound is what it was. So that's 30 love then, right? Sounded like a TIE fighter. What? Go on, turn off. No, nah, fine. I was kind of hoping you would turn off there. Can the speedrunner be patient enough to finish this level? No, I'm going to skip the patient part. <laughs> and that's match point. That's match point. <laughs> Oh, that's the bad, 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 bad. That's fine. All right, here we go. There you go. There you go. See that? See that? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, I was setting up for a trap there. Right, what have I got? Nine of 15. Oh, five more coins left to go. Four more coins left to go. Three more coins left to go. Two more coins left to go. One more coin left to go. Where be my last coin? 
Where be my last point? There it's over there. And there's my secret as well. The secret is behind the sand. Of course it is. That is just grand. Right, wait. And then... God damn it, right? Game wins. <laughs> Game wins. Oh. Yeah, wall jump pillar. Oh, yeah. That's, the wall jump pillar is the best idea there. Cliff wins. Oi! No, you've not brought bad luck. On the contrary, you've bought many fun times. Right, so that button's already been pressed, which is fine. Because now that means I can just do this. I was away to say, if you land on that arc, I'm going to laugh at you. Okay? Right, there we go. I'm going back down here. No! <laughs> There we go. All right. Up the top area here. Let's go speak to our buddy. Hi. Good to see you. It is quite the challenge to get up here. It was indeed. The view is great from up here. They used to go here to observe the stars at night. It was later turned into a defensive fortress during one of the early wars. That also explains the dangerous path up here. Speaking of the path up here, did you notice the button on the wall behind the falling sand? I did. I hit it. It may reveal something around the perimeter of the area. You should check it out. I will stay here and have a study. No! That's fine. That's fine. I thought I had a double jump. I did not. I died. That's fine. I can live. Up we go. That death was so sad. Alexa, play Despacito! Whee! I mean, I would, you, you say it's sad. I say it's sand. Right. So we got our diamond down here. Because diamonds are forever. Then I don't want to fall down yet because I've still got the big launch. That's fine. So the big launch is going to take me where? Back down here. To the key, I'm guessing. Yep. Okay. So it said, ooh. Ooh, okay. Right. That's, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I see. I see how it is. Already wish listed. Awesome. But yeah. Have a look at it. There is a demo available if you wish to play it and try it out yourself. Right. And then from here. Ooh, see, this is not going the way that I expected it to. So, this is going to be interesting. That ain't gonna work. I do need to actually bounce off that to do it. No, 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 no. Hmm. Now, the music will make it so you don't rage quit, honestly. Like, the music is very chill and a good way of keeping you grounded, which is cool. Yeah, exactly. The music really helps with, like, that idea. Oh, yeah, we're going to be rolling for that code soon. So if this is a game you think you would enjoy and you want to try and get a copy of, get ready. I hate the sandfall. I... That's fine. Right idea, wrong execution. Do it again! Do it again! Burn. That reminds you. Mm -hmm. It's so tense, I can't handle it. Yeah, but it's great, right? Yeah, the, key, the keys just go back to where they are. It's great. 
Music keeps you grounded, so when you hit the ground, you don't raise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Right, here we go. Nailed that. Avatar capsule found. Second key obtained. To the end of the level. Oh, wait, no. Where's my artifact? Where's my artifact? But what I'll do, what we'll do is we'll leave the level and then we'll come back. There's my artifact. Oh, yeah, I'm leaving the level before I get that. That's fine. We will leave the artifact and then we will come back for that in a second because if I take the artifact, it means I can go and get that without having to re-worry about getting the things. I mean, the, 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 like, Kaizo games and that, there are reasons I don't play the Kaizo games and whatnot, because they will make me just, like, not want to play it and not enjoy it. Um, this game isn't designed to be, like, ridiculously hard to make you not enjoy it. This game is designed to, to invoke a sense of adventure and mystery and have fun and do cool puzzly things. Yes. Go! Oh, that's a pot. Okay. <laughs> well, I just made a mistake. Mistake! There you go. There's another one for you. You got double whammy. Double whammy for you. Ooh. Oh, we went high. Nice. Nice. I hope I don't have to recollect this. <laughs> moose steak and it probably spells. We'll go back for the moose again. Hey, Fake Rose, how you doing? Hello. Gonna play your first ever game of Lucio Ball, and apparently, you get to continue the time honored tradition of accidentally steering the ball into the wrong goal. Yep, that, that, yep. Good, good, good tradition there. Great tradition there. I feel you on that. What did you do? On goal. Again. Yeah, I got my R5. My R5 counts. That's cool. Right, to the end of the level we go then. Woo! I am grand. I am having a lot of fun with Glyph here. Glyph is amazing. We are about to just finish up our first session of Glyph, but we will be back tonight. Again, we'll be back in three hours. Arg's gonna stock up on food. He's gonna do his daily workout. He's gonna do his ring fit. Then he is gonna come back and we're gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna do ring fit. He's gonna do what stuff he needs to get done. And then he's gonna do some, he's gonna have some food. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do even more of this. 50 to 60 levels to go. It's gonna be a long night. Wow. This is a long game. I mean, it does there. We've got one, two, three, four more rooms to go through there five more rooms to go through there that's a lot of stuff this is a big game i did not expect this to be as big as it is i did not expect this to be as big as it is and i think robert there is just very happy about that too you happy with that robert i'm gonna get a zoom in on robert there you all right robert you very happy with that there you go that is the perfect face we need to do for a giveaway perfect face to do for a giveaway oh and then i turned it around it is it's roger it's Roger, look. Roger's right there. Oh, it's even closer. Hold on, zoom in to Roger. Did I say Robert again? I meant Roger. I don't know why. I don't know where Robert's coming from. It's Roger. <laughs> There's Roger doing that. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's, he, he's, he's a bit burny there. He's a bit burny. Bit burny there going through. All right. Who wants to win a giveaway? Who wants to win a game? Who wants to win a code of the video game to come and play Cliff with us? And want to have fun with it? You do. Well, do exclamation mark enter. You've got two minutes right now to exclamation mark enter. And then you do can roll around with Roger here. 
This is just one skin of many, by the way. There are lots of skins on it. Make sure you do exclamation mark enter. Make sure you got in for it, because we're going to roll the victor very, very soon. We're going to roll it in two minutes' time here. Make sure you have it, and we will see who will win. You have to be following the channel, and you have to be here to say, yes, I want the game. And then we'll take it. And then we will take it. And we'll do it again tonight. We'll play some more, because this is good. Yeah, rig it so that Play Glyph wins, because then we get two goals instead of one. No, I will not. I will not. Um, I will not rig it. Rigging it is not how it works. Rigging it is not how it works. No. No, 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 no. All right. Here we go. Do the thing. Who is going to win the game? We're going to go roll it new. Time to close the giveaway. Because who is going to come win? Let us find out who it's going to be right now. Close it down. Here we go. All right. Who is going to win? You can no longer enter the giveaway. We're going to roll the code. The winner. And uh, for a copy of Glyph that I will gift you on Steam is... Chananan! Yay! Demon gets it. I'm glad you're brave. I'm glad I bring smiles to people's faces. That's what we want to do. We want to win. We want to win. Uh, we want to do big, big, happy, smiley faces and whatnot. Have people to enjoy it. Chananan! Chananan! If you want to add me on Steam... Um, if you don't have me already, I can then gift you a copy of the game. We have to wait 24 hours because Steam doesn't allow me to gift you a letter of being friends for more than 24 hours. But if you do that, I will gift you a copy of the game and we will get that sorted. Marby, you go and enjoy some sleep. I will catch you later on. Thank you for hanging out as always. And that goes that as well. You'll still gift Arc 2 keys for another giveaway for later. Well, thank you very much, Playcraft. That is super generous for you. So... You heard it here first, folks. I will be giving another two copies of the game away tonight. We will be back in three hours' time, and we will have another two copies to give away as well for everybody to come and play Glyph 2. So, for now, we're going to jump from one indie game to another. We're going to jump from one streamer to another here. We are going to go and raid Ashwin. We did raid Ashwin yesterday, and she was playing Demon Souls Remake. She was doing her Demon Souls speedruns. Now, she's playing an indie game that we all know, we all love, we all have a lot of fun with. We are going to go and watch some Hades. It is. It looks like it is her first time playing the game here. Uh, currently running around with the squad. So squad, 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 squad. We are going to go and play. It is. It's all Greek to me as well. Let us go and raid Ashwin as she is playing through Hades here. I will catch you all tonight for some more Play Glyph. Thank you very much for hanging out. Enjoying the discussion with me and the community here. Uh, just playing your game, enjoying it. Suggesting some feedback to it as well. Um, and I will hopefully see you all tonight. And we can do some more. Some more rolling. Some more big levels. Some more flying around as, as uh, Roger here. Roger the Skull flying around. We're going to go through. Let us go and raid Ashwin now. I will see you all in three hours. Have a great one, folks. And I will see you tonight. Bye.